Walmart is not the answer. You know, that's the biggest employer in America. And most people that work there don't have health insurance. They get paid slave wages. It's modern day slavery. And you can't raise a family like that. You know, and, and, and these kids, you know, I've been watching them. They've done everything we've asked them to do. They graduated at higher rates than any generation, you know, that's lived in America. And, and they try and they're, and they're doing everything that we asked them to do, but they don't see the promise in the future. And that's a dangerous, toxic stew that's just boiling right now. You know, and, and we have to make sure that everybody has a bright future because when you don't have a bright future and you don't have hope, desperation starts, yeah. you know, to take hold. And and you'll do things that you never thought you would do when you feel desperate. And people are already in that situation. Yeah. You know what I mean? Because I mean, and and that's why we're saying that it's not it's not that this, that this is not a class issue. What we are saying is that statistically, African Americans are kept on the lower ranks and they make less than their white counterparts. Thus, we have to work harder to afford the same basic necessities that all humans need, regardless of their skin color. You know what I mean? And so, we, it's impossible to have an, an accurate discussion about class. You know what I mean? Or without talking about race. It's, an, it's impossible to do that. Absolutely. And I was talking to a friend today, you know, and he was saying that, you know, it's not necessarily, it's, it's, it's also about, you know, supremacy. <laughs> you know, and it's, it's a mind state that people have. Exactly. That, yet, you know, that some people have, they just have a supremacy mind state. Yeah. And it's not going to work. It's not working. Yeah. It's not working here. It's not, it's not working in Ferguson. It's not working in Hong Kong. Right. It's not working in Los Angeles. No. It's not working in New York. It's not working it's in not Oakland. It's not working in North Carolina. No, it's not. It's not working in Atlanta. It's not working anywhere. It's not working in Florida. Right. You know, and, you know, George Zimmerman may have gotten away with murder down in Florida, but I can tell you there's an end game here. And the thing that's scary about the end game here in Ferguson is that these people don't have anything to lose. Right. People don't understand that. They have nothing to lose. <laughs> and, if, and if you think we're going to have another George Zimmerman situation in Ferguson, oh, man. I don't think anybody is taking step laying down over here any longer. No. It's, yeah, this, this city, this city. Sorry, y'all. I'm trying to put my gloves on at the same yeah, time. Yeah. It's, it's, it's not going to be good if... if you know, if, if this thing isn't gotten right, because people are just demanding righteousness. Yeah. They're demanding that everybody do the right thing. Right. That's what they're demanding. They're not asking anymore. You know, in the 1950s and 60s, we were asking. And now, now we're demanding. telling you, yeah. we're not going to take it anymore. This is it. It's the end game. You know, that nobody's going to take it laying down. Yeah. And, you know, the, the, the sad part about it is that nobody wins like that. Yeah. You know, we've got to learn how to live with decency as human beings and treat one another with care and with respect. Yeah. It's got to happen. It's got to happen. It's got to happen. And whoever doesn't want to live like that has got to get out of the way. Whether it be the court system, whether it be, you know, the politicians, whether it be police officers, they got to get out of the way so we can live with some decency. Yeah. They got to move. I'm sorry. They just got to go. That's it. What's your name? I'm Darnell. Hi, Darnell. Yeah, are you on Twitter? Yeah. Okay, what's your Twitter? At Funky Cow. At Funky Cow. Yeah, I'm a Funky Cow. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Bit of a rebel there, but that's cool. All right. Well, you know, I got some people who are really into what you're saying. That's awesome. Um, so, you know, you might get some tweets. Hey, some people want to hold the conversation with you. Hey, thank but thank you, you so much for giving me the interview. First, you came all the way from L.A. to see us. Okay. I love you, girl. I'm from thank you so much. <laughs> it's good to have you here. You know, you're thank just you. a positive spirit that brings a lot of good energy and a lot of, you know, a lot of focus to a, a, a needy cause. You thank know, this conversation is happening all over the world. Yeah. It's not just in Ferguson. Ferguson just happens to be a lightning rod. Right. You know, but it's a genesis right now, you know, and, and we want this movement to yield more than just a murder, you know, for Mike Brown. We want Mike Brown to get some justice, but at the same time, we want life to improve economically for people who have been locked out. 
You know, we want our court systems to be fair. We want these cops to stop acting ignorant. And we want them to act like they got some sense. You know, when, when they pull our kids over, don't shoot them in the head. You know, don't beat them with sticks. Don't treat them like animals. When you pull our kids over, one car will do. That's right. Yeah, absolutely. One car is fine. Yeah, well, one is fine. Right. You know, right. Yeah, you know, but, but these are our kids. You know, they're our most precious possession. And we're going to ride for them. Right. We're not going to let anybody abuse them. Exactly. We're not going to let anybody misuse them. Right. Because we've given our lives for our families and for our kids. And we don't care who you are. You have to treat them the way that we would treat them. And that means with respect and with care. And when you don't do that, you're going to get a Ferguson. We're not having it. You know, we, we intend for our kids to be blessed. We contend, intend for them to smile and have confidence and be bright and have a beautiful future. And we're not going to let anybody stop us. That's the bottom line. Yeah. He's got some good videos of reactions to pizza owner pulling out a gun. You do? Huh? You got some good reactions to the people talking about the pizza owner pulling out a gun? Oh, absolutely. Sure yeah. did. I got a ton of reactions from that. I mean, that was that was fantastic. Okay. Yeah. I got I got somebody talking about it in the chat yeah. room right now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. See, that's what's up, you know. And, and you know, we just want to get the real story out there because there are things that are happening on the ground where we are that everybody can't see, you know. And, and you, if you watch the regular news, you'll get half the story. But we're down here with the real folks. Right. <laughs> you know what I mean? Right, and, yeah. And, and we're getting it for real, you know. Yeah. So that's a wonderful thing, and hopefully all of this will lead to, you know, justice. Yeah. You know, and, it, and it'll lead to a better America, because that, that's what we want. This America that we're watching, these cops coming out here with these bats, you know, and intimidating these kids. That, we don't want to live in a country. Like Them kids with drums and music, y'all police with bats and batons and yeah. guns. Yeah, with dogs, and, you know, they come out with 20, with, with police dogs, and with and they had AK-47s out here, and these kids had signs and, and drums, and and that's all they're doing is protesting in the street. And you mean you're going to beat them? You know, and, and you're taking out guns. You got assault rifles pointing it at these kids. And that's all they're doing is protesting because of an injustice that they've seen. Because they also right. aren't stopping. That's the motivation. They like they can bring as many guns as you want. The kids ain't moving. See that no, big ass they're not going to move. They're not stopping. Yeah, they're not going to move. You see that big ass cop over there? Right there. Standing with the black on? That's that motherfucker that's spitting my face. He's looking at me right in the back. He knows who the fuck I am. Okay. He knows who the fuck I am. I wish I had a better camera to zoom in on him, but I could if I wasn't using this pack, unfortunately. He knows who the fuck I am. The technology is awesome, so we can still get it. That is cool. I gotta, I gotta follow you on Twitter. Yeah, man. It's a. Did he rob his store? Oh, uh, oh, but he, he attacked him and went for his gun and all this stuff. Things that have been. What's your choice of the B E L L A. Back to in the media since then. But that initial story was for six people. You know what I mean? Whereas you have these people on her live blog who are getting it as it's happening. And people can see for themselves what's going on and making their own decisions. Instead of having a narrative of checking what's so on what's happening with the mainstream media. So I, 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 I really appreciate everybody on her live blog. Because like I said, it's, I'd get nervous if all the live bloggers are gone. And even the police. At Funky Cow is his Twitter. They've been, they've been targeting live bloggers. You know what I'm saying? Because of that very reason. Because they know that they have to be accountable. That live bloggers are kind of like call monitors. You know, you're not going to be out here just doing whatever you want to do because you have people that are filming you the whole entire time. It's, it's keeping them accountable. The ACLU, they're not they're not going to, to these news corporations and asking them to give them video. They're asking us to give them video. You know what I'm saying? They're asking people who are live streaming, the people who are on social media networks, to give them video and to give them pictures to build a case because they know that they'll get the real from everybody out here. And they're not getting real from these, you know, major news networks. So, again, live streaming, I think, is, is very important to me. And I think that it, I, I hope that it continues to the very end. I hope people that are out here live blogging and live streaming don't get weary of it, especially the people. Especially the ones who are not from first. <laughs>
you know, I, I hope I hope that everybody stays and sees it through to the end, you know. How do you think any past people that are not that are not here? I mean, do you know people that are not here are constantly watching live stream and tons. Tons. You know what I'm saying? Like like it, it's funny because I was just talking about how you know being out here feels so different than if you were, you know, watching via Twitter or something like that. Because I've been out here, you know, every night and I just last night was really the first time I actually had a chance to see it from that side, you know, to see the live streams, to see the pictures that are rolling in in real time or whatever. And it makes all the difference. It makes all the difference because why everything was popping off out here. We were getting minute by minute updates. We were getting minute by minute video. They weren't even talking about it on, on CNN. They're talking about, you know, China and ISIS. Like stuff that's not happening out here right now every day. You know what I'm saying? Like it's not a crisis going on in our own backyard. So, like I said, it's it's important. The only the only worry that I have about the live streaming, and I think it's really the only one, is what is what is it going to look like once the shift comes? Because a lot of people, myself included, believe that 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 he's going to walk without even being invited. It's going to change the whole spirit. It's going to change the whole demeanor. Everything that happens out here will be totally different once that happens. Like right now, it's cool. You know what I'm saying? We People are upset. But at the same time, we can laugh. We can joke or whatever. And we can protest with the spirit of, you know, we just want justice. But once it's official that we're not going to get that justice, and I'm sure that it will be a civil case, and I'm sure, you know, those type of things will take place, and that's fine. But nobody's going to want to hear that once the state says, you know, we're not going to indict them. Oh, and, yeah, then, and, then, and then here's all this evidence. And, you know, we're still not going to indict him. And even though we, we laid all this out in front of you. And you see that it's overwhelming that he should be indicted. Because, I mean, how for one, if it was just eyewitnesses, how many eyewitnesses is, is not enough or, or too much? You have half a dozen people who are all saying basically the same thing. He, he should have at least been arrested the first week this happened. But it didn't happen. They they have too much pride, and that's fine. And I don't I don't believe that they believe that these people are going to react in a way that's going to be extreme. I, I believe that they believe they'll be able to contain everything that happens. They believe that's going to just happen in the Ferguson. But I'm telling you right now, when it's announced that he's going to walk, it's going to tear up St. Louis, Greater St. Louis. Not, not, not Ferguson, Greater St. Louis, the North Side, all the the St. areas, Clayton, Kirkwood, Ladue, all right now. Nobody is going to be exempt from feeling the impact of an announcement like that. And you can tell, you can look at the police tactics, how they come and they they they're nice one second or they're kind of you know subdued, and then the next second they they are so amped and so turned up and so out of control. I mean, they're, they're just really setting us up for for the fall. Everything that happened last night, even from watching it at home, I could tell that it was all a PR stunt. I put on my Twitter that I feel like last night, I feel like it was a, a, a draw. I feel like the protesters won because, of course, it was legit that they, you know, they said that they're not going to enforce the five-second rule or whatever. What was a lie was the fact that he said that he didn't know that it existed when on West Flores and he was he was ordering people to tell us to keep moving. You know what I'm saying? Even Bill once said today that he didn't know it existed. But your whole squad is operating under this MO and you have no idea. That's hard to believe. I believe the fact that y'all saw the police pull back and just stand even closer to where they are right now and start loading up weapons and all that stuff. It's intimidation. It was it was it was it was orchestrated. I, I honestly to tell you the truth, I believe that somewhere in there they had a strategy board and they was like, this is what's gonna happen. We're gonna come out in ride gear, we're gonna load up guns, we're gonna be real aggressive, we're gonna stand off with these people, and then we're gonna have him come in as like a, a, a black savior to placate the people and to win the PR battle. 
the fact is he came out here saying that about the, the five second rule because the ACLU had them in court yesterday and he just wanted to get in front of the judge's decision because we know the judge is going to say it's unconstitutional so instead of them saying that and, and waiting on it he figured let's get out in front of this thing so it can make it seems like that we're being you know altruistic so it, we can get some points for that would well, no, you're just really trying to save your own tail and look good for the cameras so like I said once everything turns around and it will my concern is how will the the live streamers be treated that's my concern how will what the live streamers be treated out here in the midst of all by who the protesters because once cause there's going to be rioting going on there's going to be violence going on it's going to be bloodshed it's going to be bloodshed i mean it's going to be bloodshed i'm not going to get into details but i know for a fact there's going to be bloodshed and and when that's happening my concern is for you all safety because here we go you're going to feel compelled to get this we might have to, yeah. to get the story out. What's your but Twitter? At the same time, you say, Why chef? W Y Z E chef. 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 I'm yeah. Bella Echo. I think I'm following you. I think you did just start following yeah, me. Yeah, yeah. I'll follow you back. Okay. Right. Thank you. No It's a, a few police officers. They're the St. Louis County Police um, and the Hazelwood Police. You see that they're filming in the background. Um, definitely a little bit more spread out than the joint line um, that you saw last night. And the protesters have joined, went on the sidewalk, but they played music. So um, it wasn't it wasn't surprising that they were going to go. I can tell them what you said to communicate. So what you just, what is you just The saying? drum, that's all Stop that they're the concerned drum. about. But it is no this much presence for a drum. We have this much police presence for a drum. So obviously, we, we, we don't have, it's not about the drum. It's just uh, the noise ordinance is in effect. And, and a lot of our residents have asked that the noise calm down after 11 o'clock. That's all they're asking. At 11. Why, why is that though? All of us, majority of us are Ferguson residents. I understand. Okay, so we pay taxes in this city. But if you're living on Tiffin and you're living right behind Annie Worm, that's pretty noisy. It really is. I, we don't live far. We live behind that. Understood. Okay. But uh, again, that's all we're asking. Is that, so, uh, yeah, I appreciate the fact that they moved across the street. I, I really do. Not blocking the road is wonderful. Well, we just try to get the well, music. Well, well, our negotiation is that we when we're we not feel, doing negotiations. No, no our, yeah, our negotiation is when y'all are arrest Darren Wilson, we'll go, we'll, we'll we'll slim it down a little bit. And we understand that that's not a moment tonight. We understand that. So I'm talking about tonight. But my priority is for safety of the protesters. So you're saying if the drum does not stop, what's going to happen? What's the next step that you're going to take? We'd have to arrest the person playing the drum. You want to arrest the, the person playing the drum? The drum play, yes. We're playing the drum. Okay. If he's been asked to stop, and we will ask. We will ask individually. Uh, so do you want to? Well, no, because you have to take all of them with you. That's not a good move. Right. No, I, I'll make the announcement. You're going to make drum, an announcement. Yeah, I'll drum. make the announcement that uh, people the drum, are going to be subject to arrest for right. the drum. Right. But so now, that way how is that? That way, be good. All right. Right. You can't, sound good? He said, how do you identify who's playing the drum? Well, I, I don't know that I can. Uh, that's what I'm saying. If we can identify so the person. So anyone that's out here is at risk for one person? Well, no. I, uh, seriously, the person that's making the noise would be something. The drum isn't playing anymore. I, I, I hear that. I hear that. Well, it hasn't I'll go been talk playing solid. I'll talk to him. So, uh, then I'll, I'll communicate what you said, and then okay. I'll bring back what you said. All right. Thank you. Appreciate it. Sorry. Hey. 
Negotiating whatsoever. I'm just going to communicate what he said so that you know so they don't have to come over here at y'all. That's all we're doing. They ain't going to come over this girl. That's all that they're doing. So all that they said in the midst of everything is the drum. And you got to stop playing the drum while he was talking. So his threat became irrelevant. So at this point, now you're just. You're doing what you're doing exactly. You're not doing anything wrong. Okay, so we're good as long as the drum doesn't get played. Right, 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 right. What do you say? What do you say? Hey, hey, listen. And whoever is playing the drum will be the one arrested. So this, we don't know. This is correct. 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 My check it. My check it. This is what he said. Because the drums stop playing right now, he has nothing. The drums start playing. That's going to allow oh, them. That's going to give them the authority to come over here to arrest the drummer. They ain't whoever the drummer right. is. And but they can't see the drummer. Right. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. I'm not negotiating at all. And that's that's on me. I don't negotiate. I'm telling you what he said, and that's it. Right? Who it is? I'm telling you what he said. I'm telling you what he said. What's wrong with the drum? Just spit that shit. Fight for me. They're gonna drown. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. from doing that Tell and I mean it do not hard. do not put the camera on the person with the drum because they are watching our live feeds and that is a safety issue if they identify a face that's who they're going to come after and we will not allow them to target any of us are they, are they, no are cameras they on the drum yeah. whatsoever so do you want do you want media on this side or do you want them to stand across the street media. they're going to argue that media includes live stream and i know that it includes live stream i'm not going to put bassam on the other side of the street what i'm so saying what I'm is, is i'm asking you as live streamers and media to not record the drama respect our wishes y'all want okay. this way yeah right no i know people record the opposition record the no okay the opposition. that's all i'm asking we don't okay no i'm just right. i want to know what it is that y'all i'm sorry i'm that's clarifying you know what i mean that's not a hard request you see the drum, put your camera down. You've heard it. They have asked that we do not help the police arrest the drummer, and that's completely respectable. If you have a camera, do not point it at the drummer. Unless you're mainstream media and you're doing a police job for him, of course. That's all I'm saying. How do we nuts? I <laughs> said, perhaps. Hi. Hey. That was pretty amazing that they made that announcement. You think everything's like. No, I'm using you. Right? 
You see what he did, man? The guy come up, they just said, do not film the drama. And Who just did it? The, I think it's mainstream media. They Who? just ran his ass off. Oh, did they? Yeah, you see like a little red right the coin dexter dude with the... Uh, Big ass camera? No, 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 not him. He just has a, a, a camera camera, not a, not a uh, video camera. And he came right up and took a fucking picture of the guy drumming. And they just chased him off. <laughs> Mainstream media. I'm scared to even be in the crowd now. I, just, I, I think the crowd is actually the safest place to be. No, no, no. I just not that it's not safe. I don't want to make a mistake. Like I don't even want it to be a mistake. Right. No, that's my leg. It don't have to be a mistake. You know, walking by, talking to somebody. You know what I mean? Right now, the uh, police is backed off. Hey, man, keep the kids doing going. Hey, what's up with them in, in they cameras? The news was initial. No, that's what I'm saying. What's up with them in they cameras? They ain't trying to move, and we ain't trying to create no environment like that. So I think they're putting the drum away because they said, in quote, we're not trying to create an environment like that. So the next time that you hear mainstream media saying that these are agitators and they're trying to instigate situations, they had a conversation specifically to protect the safety of the protesters. Um, and they made a calculated decision. So... Well, if it was me, then I would get speakers <laughs> and play music hella fucking loud and be like, y'all told me no drums. I don't know if it's if enough sticks out here. I don't know if that's something they want to do. But what you will end up seeing eventually is the crowd come up with something because they pissed off. So, I'm telling everybody, there's 26 police cars just on that side alone, and there's estimates of like 100 cops right now. Just so everybody knows the numbers. Okay. And then, then we, everybody, they can all decide what to do from there. So. If it was me, I would just keep finding different ways to make hella noise. And every single time, they would have to come tell me to stop doing that one specific thing. You know what I'm saying? Different ways, every single time. Every single time. Um, <laughs> we should just all set off our car horns and just be like, I don't know how to turn it off. I'm sorry. <laughs> Shit, I'm trying really hard, but I think my button went out. I'm fucking... Where'd it go? Uh, they're all assembled back there. Don't leave me, man. They're all, there's and now that that cops are off in the parking lot, they might be a little That's okay. I, I'm perfectly within my rights. I had my hands on my head just walking through a parking lot. They can't do anything to me, and you're streaming the whole time, so... I'm perfectly within my rights. Sasha knows what's going on, but they put the drum up. Um, I had a quote from them that said, we're simply not trying to create that type of situation. Like, they are literally not trying to create a situation where the police are going to come hurt people. So the, le the, the moral of this story that really needs to be paid attention to is that kids, young black men and women, are being faced with physical repercussions for playing a drum. <laughs> You see what I mean? Like, and that's what I write. Too. The, and they and they want to protect the crowd. So, I I have a problem with mainstream media saying that these are agitators and they're tearing up the city and they violent thugs and they ignorant. No, no, no. Y'all got. <laughs> I can't even stop saying it or not. They just want justice, and if they're gonna be denied that, they're gonna they're gonna keep fighting for it by any means necessary. Which which is their civic duty as American citizens. It's not their right, it is their duty. It is the only actual thing that is required of us as American citizens. They don't say work, nigga. You know what I'm saying? It don't say none of that shit. It says you need to protect your rights. That's it. We need to stand up and make sure that democracy still exists. But it doesn't really exist, but that's an illusion. So since you told me that lie, um, I won't hold you to it then. You know what I mean? Why is it that I can't have food, water, and somewhere to live? I'm human. It gets below zero all here.
what the fuck? You know what I mean? Like, I don't get it. And then, and you want to chastise kids because they talking about that. Because they talking about that because Mike Brown got shot. But this is not just about Mike Brown. It ain't just about Alan Blifford. It's not, what it really is about is a system that keeps us oppressed continuously. That continues to kill us. You know what I mean? That continues to subjugate us to different forms of oppression day after day after day. That's why when the police come out here in riot gear with guns, they don't move because this is already their life. You know what I mean? They already are very well aware of the fact that they could walk in a store, two sodas in a Twinkie, what is that, 325 at the most, and the police will shoot their ass within 14 seconds. Yo ass ain't worth 325. You see what I'm saying? Like, that's a problem. It also is funny because it's like three quarters of a person. <laughs> Ironic. Or, you know what I mean? So it's ridiculous. Second class, no class. Yep. What you mean? You know what I mean? Like I talk about, they were like, all oh, the the slaves were freed. Okay, yeah, but the class system wasn't created in us at the bottom. The class system was created on top of our backs. You see what I'm saying? We weren't given anything. We didn't get our leg up. It was like, oh, okay, nigga, you can't read, you can't do shit, um, and now you gotta work for me, and I ain't really gonna pay you a motherfucking thing. But y'all freedom. Yeah, <laughs> y'all freedom. Right. Oh, and you for can't eat house. Hold on. All right, plan. hold on. And, but you can't sit with us, and you can't go to school with us, and um, you know what I mean? You can't make as much as us, and you can't vote like us. And you see what I'm saying? Like, oh, okay, then we gotta go through hella shit just to have those rights. You know what I mean? Like, that's why it's like, everybody talking about feminism. Feminism was a white argument before it was a women argument. You see what I'm saying? Yes, yes, white women could lose their privilege of being white if they had married black men, unlike black, white men who could like have sex with black women as much as they wanted to. And so, yes, that was an issue, but it never is, it's never been an, uh, an undisputed fact, right? That black women are still not held to the same standard that white women are held to. It's not a race issue for us. It's a human issue for us. Pain. Exactly. It's a human lowest issue for pain. us. But in order for us to get motherfuckers to pay attention to that shit, we have to, you have to recognize that race contributes to the class problem. And when we consider that, it's the indigenous people of this country first, then it's African Americans, period, period. It's structural slavery and genocide, period. You know what I mean? That's the same thing in Palestine, it ain't a war, they're just killing them faster. It's the same thing here. It's not a war, they just started killing us faster. Don't give a fuck. So I can't blame these kids for not giving a fuck. Nobody give a fuck. Fuck it. No fucks everywhere. Like, whatever. They're doing something like that. No fucks all around. And there's nothing controlling us. And you have to like your life that they don't like. That's fucking the same way. Same exact thing. What? Yeah, yeah, let's go. If you want to go cop car, if you want to go uh, count cop cars, follow Sasha and Nick. Please give, put eyes on them because they're going to go do some uh, pretty risky work right now, okay? Thank you. I got texting gloves so I could do my phone. That <laughs> called my finger. Hey, NYC is having a solidarity action tomorrow. New York is having a solidarity action with all tomorrow. Yeah. Did y'all even know we was having solidarity marches and shit with y'all in Oakland? Did y'all even know that? <laughs> y'all didn't know that? No. Nope. We was doing hashtag Ferguson, assuming that maybe people were down here were known about it. But y'all should follow me too because when I'm out there, I'm gonna do my best to cover all of that. You know what I mean? Like we don't, we ain't forgot about y'all. You know what I'm saying? Like, y'all got solidarity actions in L.A., Oakland, I believe Boston did one, New York. You know what I mean? Like, people are, are organizing behind what's happening here. Y'all should know that. I didn't know that y'all didn't know that. Nah, I didn't know that. I didn't know that. I mean, you see what you're seeing on TV with everybody putting their hands up, but, like, you know, I mean, shit. Me, personally, I know I've been out here too much, so I really don't know what's what. I look on internet sometimes and some shit be there, but 
Yeah, though. No, I mean, like, really touch out, touch out to more people and let us know. So then that way we can spread it on Twitter and we can know, you know. So you need, know. yeah. So you know, copy people. I mean, tag people in your tweets, like HJ underscore R O D G E R S. It's Jay underscore Rogers. You know what I mean? There are um, many other people whose contact information have been brought up on my stream. Don't just contact them, you know what I mean, to find out what's going on here, but contact them to give them support and let them know what's happening elsewhere. You know what I mean? Like, in order for movements like this to sustain themselves, they have to know that they aren't alone. You know what I mean? So, um, please reach out, people. Like, please do that. You know what I mean? Yeah. We all out here fighting the same fight for real. For real. For real. Courtney, can you put Sasha's stream link up, please? I'm tired of the Sleeping. Why didn't, why didn't you ask Nick for the key? You could have went and sat in the car and took a little nap. She, she, I might. I gotta go see my PO they actually have Taco Bell in San Diego. I'm telling like, we'll be told that we for them. When he's asking about that season, I'm be like, man, don't ask me about no motherfucking Ferguson, man. I don't know nothing about no Ferguson. <laughs> That's what I'm going to tell my PO if he asks me. Tonight. Yeah, Anon Roster FTP. This is H.J. Rogers right here. What the fuck I'm going to tell my PO, though? Don't ask me nothing about no Ferguson, man. I don't know shit about no Ferguson, man. Don't show me no pictures or none of that. I see this shit every day. <laughs> shit, I mean, talking to your PO is just like talking to the police. You know what I'm talking about? I hope you don't watch your streams. Maybe, you never know. I, I guarantee you the police are watching streams. I guarantee you. You know what I mean? But that's also why it's like, I don't... I go over there a lot. You know what I mean? Like, I, don't, I don't need to get like everything. Because mainstream media is already hurting the movement. And so in order to create a balance with it, which is what I feel like I'm doing, why I have my opinion in my commentary, why I, why I film, um, is that I'm creating a balance. You know what I mean? Mainstream media is already telling the lie. So let me get out of here and put the opinion of the people out. And majority of the time, I agree with if I'm not the people. You know what I mean? So, um, you know, a lot... Many who watch my stream hate on the fact that I have commentary, but I came out the stream because I want my voice heard just as much as I want other people's voice heard. I mean, that's what you're supposed to do. Is that, you know what I mean? So instead of asking leading questions to fit some narrative, I'm having a conversation with people. You know what I mean? And I'm trying to provide a, lens, provide a lens of analysis for those who may or may not necessarily understand some of the actions or statements that are made by individuals or, you know what I mean, are done by individuals while they're watching my stream. So, that's just, you know, this is me. I mean, real raw, not cut, that's what we need. Like, you know what I'm saying? What would the world be if it was full of lies? It'd be bullshit. Real so. raw and uncut, right on. <laughs> Thank you. Bella Echo out here doing her thing. For real. It's us, man. It's Ferguson, man. She's I, a I ain't even from Ferguson. <laughs> but I live down here. Right. She's Sasha streaming on live stream. I don't know. It's the same stream as last night. Oh, I gotta go over here and look at these mainstream media and see who they are. Cause they were the ones that wanted to catch the drama, right? Hello. <laughs> All right, so per the request. I'm telling them they gonna meet the penguin man. His name Jeff Bantha. I'm gonna show him who it is. The who? The penguin man? What's his name? Jeff Bernthal. Jeff? Yeah. Jeff Bernthal. No, okay. Hello. I just wondering what media uh what media outlet you guys are with? Channel two and channel eleven. Channel two and channel eleven? Okay. Is the uh, local or national? Local. Local? Okay. That's Jeff. Well right some some is gonna go out national at some point. These okay. Are... Okay. Just I was just wondering who yeah, nope. you know, where I could catch the hey, footage. Jeff, at. Why you ain't out doing the story? Uh why you ain't out doing the story, Jeff? It's Channel 2 is Fox, right? Yes. And then uh, what station is Channel 11? Uh, technically CW. CW. Although, now the Tribune owns us, it's kind of turned into Tribune. So Y'all cameras on? Okay. Mm -hmm. 
Got our cameras on? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Thank you. I just want to know. Sure. Yeah. Thanks. All right. So that is the mainstream media in the parking lot. Um, and you know, it's like we were talking shit because it was like, oh, you can see who mainstream media is with because they hanging out on the other side behind the police. But they actively work with the fucking police. So it's like having them on this side is also having the police over here you know what I mean and so it's like you know you know that the police watch the live stream and that's why you know and they do it in an attempt to understand things that are happening within the movement and to understand the motivations of people within the movement and I really feel like they do that so that they can operate um, and establish some sort of way to pull people away Oh, what the fuck? Oh, hold on. This is Nick. Yeah, I'm streaming. Uh, Bella Aiko. Just if they go to my Twitter, it's all on there. At least, at least 50 cars now that I've counted. At least 50? 50 cars. Okay, I just saw it. excessive for the, you know, maybe max 75 people out here. That's one per car. Over well, you no, can't always double. Seven. You can't always multiply the cop cars by two cops because not always. Right over two. seventy cop cars. Yeah. Did you say fifty? No, yeah, no, no. I just counted. Sorry. Yeah. Um, <laughs> oh wait, was that total or over here? That was total. Oh, I thought you were talking about over here. No, no, no. Okay, no, no, sorry no, guys. No, no, no. Sasha, how many over here? Can you ask people to post your uh, stream link on my Twitter page? Because a lot of people are asking me what your stream is because they can't find it it won't connect to my twitter for some reason it won't even let just me give me the option look are people there. watching in this i don't know the link yeah okay so ask somebody who's watching it if they could please go copy and paste the link to sasha's stream mm -hmm. and post it on twitter at bella echo b-e-l-l-a-e-i-k-o we have other people who are viewing my stream who uh would like to switch back and forth especially when uh nick and sasha go count the number of police um, in there, in in the parking lot, like in the back of the parking lot, that's really dangerous, and we need as many eyes as possible. So if you guys could do that, so that um, the people watching my stream could find that, I really appreciate it. Thank you. If I'm not here, I'm watching yours, the Revolutionary Z. Oh, okay, cool. Thank you. I'm Bella Echo. E I K O. Uh huh. Now, what does she stream on? Sasha's streaming, and she's on live stream. That's what I'm on, too, yeah. Okay. She's live streaming. Um, I'm you streaming. There's yeah. a couple people out here that use uh, BAM user, I believe. And then there's a lot of hard video being uploaded. Yeah. You know? Okay. Be safe. I I'm going to go home and play the game. I'm bored. <laughs> well, you've been out here for a while. You should go relax. You're not from Hawaii, by chance, are you? No. From Oakland. Oh, my grandmother um, is Japanese, mm -hmm. and her name was Aiko. Okay. And yeah. so, it yeah. sounds like a Hawaiian. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And you look like you could go over there and look like a local. <laughs> Which is good because you're pretty. Thank my you. Baby was born over there. Thank you. <laughs> Mrs. Goodman, very pretty. Yeah, we were just pointing at each other. Our streams were crossing. <laughs> <laughs> it's a joke. Yeah. Huh? It appears to be thinning out. So, Hell yeah. yeah, it is thinning out. I turned around. Where am I going? I looked at her and then turned back and like, I guess some people heeded the warning. No, I'm not sure she's using live stream, but I think so. Let me, I'll go over there and it's like, if, when these cars pass, I'm about to go ask Sasha. Let me wait till this car passes. And she moves hella fucking fast. Where is she? She was just right there. Oh, okay. Sasha, you're using live stream, not you stream, right? Yeah. Okay. Hold on, here we go. Your hands can't be that cold now. I love you. You see it? I love Bassam, I love a non-cop black, I love all Oh, yes he is, he's <laughs> better naked. <laughs> I love all of them equally. I, I was just kidding about Mustafa. 
I love him. Please don't hate me because I said that it was just a joke. It was just a joke, I promise. Okay. <laughs> The crowd is thinning out. I might take a minute for the word to get out. I have shirts by the I don't know if you need them. I was trying to get a change of clothes for today, but my flight is tomorrow. I'll just, I'll just, I'll just make it. Yeah, I'll make it. I'll be okay. Thank you. I would much rather. I, I would much rather that clothes go to somebody else who, who really needs okay, it. Okay. I, I can, I, I got you. I can suck it out another day. <laughs> There's a walk back down the street. Now, I, my yeah. aunt was washing clothes. Hey, Diamond, so, what's up? How you doing? I'm doing good. How you doing? I'm good. Everybody is Diamond. No, Say I'm hi. <laughs> my mom is the same shirt. So, so what's going on, man? The crowd is thinning out. Is everybody getting ready to go home? Like, what's going on? I think people are trying to figure out the next move. What's going? What's going on? I really have no idea. I'm kind of stuck in the loop like everybody else. Okay. So, I, know I mean, people are, most people are, are. Some people are going home. Um, are you guys gonna like powwow about it, or it's just kind of like see what people do? I, okay. I'm just standing here and seeing what the hell's going on. Okay. Okay. So basically, they got a whole little force back there for a little bit of nothing. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. No uh, you know, almost every single time a car passes by, the horn honks. They got support. Even if people won't get out, they believe in what they're doing. But you know, uh, it'd be nice if people got out the car and didn't just honk. You put me on a pose, so Cornell so Fred. <laughs> That's my name. That's my name. He is cute. What's up, DJ? <laughs> no, but I will make it clear that I did write about the negotiation. But no, I no, no. I saw you like, post something. It was on everybody's behalf. Yeah, I, like, I don't negotiate. I, I, I reported. Negotiate I reported what happened, and that was that one person, and that the rest of the protest. Yeah, weren't. The We're Americans. We don't negotiate with teachers. <laughs> I went to negotiate. I was like, we don't no. negotiate. Mm -hmm. I will communicate what you said to the group because I don't want you to walk over there and they're not going to listen to you. So we're going to go mic check it and then I'm, I'm going to let you know but we're coming back. It was no I'm going to tell them. We, as a group, were saying, fuck what you're talking about. Because the, the Constitution drops the local order, but I don't want you to cross the street. So, you know, first line of defense is communication, second line of defense. This turn up, but it wasn't. So you went back and told <laughs> I said, Mike and I said, What he said was, and then they was like, Fuck that. Okay. All right. Let me go he tell his ass. Sir, he, he was, said. Because basically, like, the first time, the first time, he said, mama told me the first time he came up, you. he said, uh, <laughs> Get out the street. He, basically, he didn't even say nothing about the street until the very end. Yeah, basically, he kept saying about the drum of the noise. Yeah. Then he said, <laughs> And then, of course, you got to stab the street. I was like, mm, I'm gonna go say that to them, and we'll see. But that, by the time, by every time he keeps, every time he came up to talk, they stopped doing what he said. I was like, when he was talking, I was like, nobody's in the street. He was like, Well, yeah, I see that. So, um, what the fuck are we up here talking about now? What else? Then the second time he came back with the drum, he was like, Well, you guys can't drum because that's disturbing the peace. I was like, There's no drum. He's like, Well, yeah, I see that. <laughs> so, so I think now they're just like it's the cat and mouse thing. Every time you come up, they gonna stop doing what they know that they not supposed. Like, I, what I you love it actually because it, it, it is wearing them out. It's wearing them out. You look at them dudes; they are tired as hell, man. Because even the first time they came up, they tried to create that that line that they normally do. He was like, oh. he was like, oh. like, like let's look at that. We thought about yeah. the stand up. They they tired, man. Like they they was there for reaching. You get on their face, bro. They tired. They were tired. They just want to go home. If I had to get an IV today, I know they ass. <laughs> Cause you got all that damn attire on, yeah. with like, and you standing there with this big old glass. 
Oppressing people is hard work. Oppressing people is hard work. Oppressing people is hard work. What's your Twitter so my people know to follow you? R E underscore I N B E N T underscore E B reinvented. Okay. Okay. Bella Aiko. That's right. Yeah, yeah. I follow you. Yeah, I'm pretty sure you do. So, before y'all go, real quick, I just want to ask y'all, did y'all know that there were, like, solidarity actions popping off in different places for y'all? Okay. Well, because, like, well, no, because I was asking, like, I asked HJ if he knew that, like, Oakland had a, a couple ra uh, rallies and marches in solidarity with y'all, and so did L.A. and Boston, New York. Um, and I, I'm coming off the top of my head. The one in New York, right? That's I'm, right. That's why I'm like, I'm just coming off the top of my head. Okay. 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 I was just asking because I was like, you know, it, we appreciate that. Right. We Thank love it. Well, that's what I was saying. Like, in addition to checking like the Ferguson um, Twitters or hashtag and looking for updates here, that. People need to like also show you support and let you know about what's going yeah. on elsewhere. Well, people show us show all us over the love, world. Like, no, 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 no. You know, I'm even making sure that you know. Oh, yeah, you know right. what I mean? Like, yeah, I just wanted to make sure that you know. Okay. Yeah, yeah, like real talk. And it's real like talk. When I saw that Times Square preacher, I was like, dang. Like, like it almost made a dub. I cried. Hey, 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 hey. I'm gonna put that one finger right there. Like, wait a minute. Whoa. You know, like, 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 this is this is how you make a real right. face fast. I was like, yeah, trillest yeah. people in the world. Yeah, yeah. Like, right. they were like, they were like Ferguson. This, this that's amazing. Like, it's like it's it's the, the crazy yeah. thing is. A world is looking in on this very small town and saying what in they the are doing is wrong, America. and they still don't see it. We got different <laughs> religions, we got different cultures, we got All different world, world. governments, right. we got humanity. That was That's a universal like thing. Yeah. Humanity yeah. is a universal yeah. thing. Yeah. 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 Like, these, these cats are, are in exile. Yes. Yes. These cats are in exile, <laughs> and they came to Ferguson. When you get a yeah. mom, yeah. you're not I talking about. You're not talking about. You're talking about human rights. Like, like we we stood out. Here for Mike Brown, and you you suppressed my human right. Come, come First time in right America, you suppressed all of that. You shut that down. The <laughs> then as a human, you Real said time. that my life did not matter. My voice was not to be heard. So like when the world turns up and you see like you see the now you, so what, Ferguson, what Ferguson what Ferguson Ferguson has done is that we're not gonna, we're not gonna take this. If it's a situation yeah. anywhere, we standing up. We standing up. We became right. a global right. Chicago, they standing up. Yeah. Detroit, they standing up. Like my umbrella. Right. This, is, this is going to become. It's gonna be it's gonna yellow too. Shout out to oh my God. Oh, and I'm coming back. There are people. Oh, I'm coming back. And hey, can you can you do me a favor? Can you just send me a tweet real quick and say this is me? Because everybody's trying to find your Twitter and they can't. Okay. No, no, no. I couldn't at first. It's okay. So y'all, B E L L A K O. They didn't say filming in Ferguson. That's that's me. Um, yeah. So she about to send send a tweet to my thread, y'all. It's gonna say this is me. Oh, you'll be able to easily find her Twitter, okay? Yeah, to the schools too. Her family and Like that was that was dope. It was really dope. Like everything that that happens like that, like it is just not. We don't take it lightly, you know what I'm saying? Because it's in a situation like this, it's easy for you to feel like you out here by yourself in this, in this big old world. But I mean, they cats have made the world real small with this, this Ferguson situation through these social media and through live streaming and all this stuff like that. Because if it was just CNN, oh my God. MSNBCs, and the Foxes and all that, yeah. oh, it would have been done. They would have met, but here's the it'd thing. Dead. The thing is, the live stream, it shows you, like, it shows you the, the serious tactics that they're doing 9 to 5 when they come out of this. They want to silence us completely. It's like, they're, they, they're not like, okay, all these PR moves to say we're with you guys, we understand that. Basically, they come out every night and they're like, fuck all of that. So they was talking about this morning on the press conference. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We about to turn up on y'all. And it's like you responded yesterday to 15 people standing in the middle of the street with riot gear. So one person can get responded to with riot gear. And we've never, an officer in 52 days has not been harmed by protesters. In 52 days. You want to talk about rocks being thrown or bottled water being thrown. 
Like you want to say all of that, you can, you want to argue that, but no officer has been hospitalized. Protesters have been hospitalized and jailed. If you can find each of these, like over 100 protesters have been arrested at this point. We're well over 100. If you count every hour that they spend in jail compared to the one dude that we all came out here to get you to lock up. Right, right. You doing all of this, millions of dollars blown in budget for one man. It's, it's, it's all about pride. It's though. already yeah. pride. He, they need to. It's if, set if the precedent. Nothing, they need to set him up and just. He needs to be the sacrificial lamb. Like, give him up. Listen, you gotta take one for the team, bro. Right, 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 right bro. Give him up. Fuck you. Yeah, you gotta, you gotta take one for the team. Like, it, I mean, like, we know you did it anyway. It's obviously murder, but we just we tired of trying to cover up for this. That's what I'm saying. We'll find you out. Tell them. That's what they need to tell them. So basically, you just gonna spend life in jail. But we got all the Roman noodles. That right, you need. right. We gonna get you TV. TV. We gonna do a Martha Stewart one. NFL subscription. Yeah, we gonna lace you. But it's just conjugal business. But you think you're conjugal business? But you're gonna be in jail. You said though, it's about precedent. Because yeah, if, you, if they arrest him, then it changes everything. Everything. And we, it changes everything. You had a they not count. Because because then they will have to start being accountable. Yeah. Because then when you take somebody to court, they will have this reference. You know, well in Ferguson. And they don't want to. They don't want to give the world that. You know what I'm saying? And that's why. That's why I was so angry when it first happened. Because I was like, yeah, ain't no way. This cat in the wall. Ain't no way he finna not get arrested. And we about to. And now we about to set this precedent for the whole country. You know what I mean? But I ain't gonna lie. I haven't been that optimistic since like the second week. You you talk about a full blown massacre. Like here's here's the thing. Here's the thing about the, the government as we starting to understand. It. You're for the people, by the people, right? You ready to almost kill all these people? All the people. But so not set a precedent. But that just where shows. Where an officer will not get away with murder. That reflects because at the end of the day, I don't care what you you can argue the first shot, but when you come back with them last five, you talking murder. We have to make the distinction that white, that white. Because the thing is, oh yeah, people, people, people are saying, people are saying, and I and I hate I hate hearing it, I hate, especially for people who are not out here. That is, it's not about race. It is absolutely, absolutely. It is core about it, it race. Has, it's yes, not about class because there are, there are poor white people who don't get treated the same way or don't have the same rules of engagement that even affluent black people have. You know what I'm saying? You can, you can even look at when we were out here the other night, you know, when the white people were getting arrested, the police were, were handling them with kitty gloves. They were walking them holding them by their, by their arm a little bit, maybe, and, and, and politely helping them up <laughs> into the truck. You know what I'm saying? Hold on, let me, let me, let me, let me help but you diamond, up right there. But Diamond, but Diamond, but Diamond, get slammed, you know what I'm saying, chocolate, basically, she got knocked unconscious and basically hogtied. I, I, that's, that was ridiculous. You you look at, at the lost voices, and these are, you know, people who were non-violent. Even, even the other night, when, you know, all the way, you know, they got arrested with whatever, they got just walked over there. Most, if not, I don't even, I didn't even see any white people get put into the, um, the, the, the zip ties. But the one little dude who was out here on the street, they dude had his knee in that, in that dude's back. I got a picture of it too. You know what I'm saying? And dude is not, he's not even, he's not even saying anything. He's not even saying, get off me. He's not saying, he's not saying he's not we were chanting, he's not resisting. They did not move. They do. They did not treat the white people the same way, and that's why it's the issue of race because white privilege allows them to be in the same situations with black people, but not get the same treatment it was, as black people. It was still a distinction when they arrested the long voice. They should and the other. I don't remember what her name is, but there is like a dark skin one and a light. Skin and listen, one. and people yeah. think I'm wild for saying that, but there is a such thing as light skin privilege. Period. There's a such thing as light skin privilege. It's like well, the lighter you are, the more privilege you get. If, if you can have. If, well, let's keep it out. Let's keep it real because you know back in the day, if you was fucking massive, you know what I'm saying. You had the good job. You know what I'm talking about. Your life, your kids was like. That's why. That's why the niggas in the field didn't rock with niggas in the house. Right. Arguing systematic racism because this is a system that existed when that was okay. We would never broke this system down after slavery. We never broke this system down after the civil rights movement. These are the same people. These are their grandkids. These are all these people 
coming out and it's like you have the same oppression and when, as we evolve as a culture but you have the same oppression you get in this moment because we're tired to be to, I've never gotten a ticket I've never been arrested but I've he that guy that day that we were out here he yelled to incite all the officers to grab me she has warned and grabbed my shirt because you've seen me so much you're exhausted and you're fed up with me as a person like my rights don't matter but if we talked about taking y'all guns away, that's the problem. Oh, baby. Oh, God. Rights, what, oh, oh baby. When we, Second Amendment rights, it's all, it's the whole world, it's the whole country turning up. When you're talking about the ability to stand on the street corner at any hour and say, Mike Brown means we got to fight back. You telling me that I deserve to go to jail for that? Even John Crawford in Ohio, they have an open carry law. They can carry right. We do too. And that man got right, shot. Right. 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 And the thing crazy. is, it's an issue, a black 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 issue of race. The yeah, rules of engagement are different. The rules of engagement, even for a black officer, is different than how he can deal with a black person and a white person. You will never see, ever, 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 ever see a case where a black officer kill an unarmed white kid. It won't happen. Because when you come when you come into a situation where you have a black suspect, it's always perceived danger regardless. Whether whether they're being hostile or not, it's always gonna be a sister, you know, a feeling of they're being hostile, they could get hostile real fast. So I'm gonna neutralize them before we can get to that level. You know what I'm saying? Oh yeah, no, it was most definitely rape failure. They're saying that a lot of the women who were like in the house were getting raped and so it wasn't all peaches and green. But that's not what we're saying. We're saying that their their children is a product in a very racist society that's consumed with skin color. You feel they make them feel safer. Why you think our first black president is half white? Exactly. Stop. That's not, that's not a coincidence. Not, if he if he and the fact that he was raised by white people. Let's not get it twisted. Right. Barack, Barack Obama, he 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 is he is he, he, he's not really a black president. He, if, if we're being a hundred percent honest, a hundred percent honest, Barack Obama gets a pass on being the, the first black black president because of his immediate family, because of Michelle and his children. Yeah, that's the image that we that we want to see. Like that that was what made people excited as a black person to see a black family in the White House. You know what I'm saying? The fact that he is fair skinned, the fact that he was raised by white people <laughs> plays a large role. And even then, even with all that going for him, you know, white people still don't really want to accept him. Not, I'm not saying all white people, but, but still white people. But in majority, he's the most they, criticized they hate president. He does the same shit he still, the rest of them. He gets, he gets more he death threats. He gets more death threats exponentially they, more than any president who's ever, They let the right. media talk ever so bad about him. Oh, it would be treason. Remember, anybody if you remember, else. If you remember, the first couple of years that Barack Obama was the president of the United States of America, People had to make conscious efforts on 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 mainstream media to refer to him as a president. Yeah, they, 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 they all were just saying Barack Obama, Barack Obama this, Barack Obama that. But when, when but when Bush was when he was a president, it was President Bush every time. Whether, whether they whether they liked Bush or not, it was President Bush every time. It got it had it was a time where people who were pro Obama supporters who were on these newscasts had to stop and straight make a point to say President. President Obama. You know what I'm saying? Because it's like, bruh, yeah, they, just respect they him for who he is. He, he, do you like that? Listen, yeah. Bush, did you like Bush that stole the election. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Bush stole the election. Barack Obama won in a landslide. Right. You know what I'm saying? But it's the gay Bush like more credit. Crucify him for doing a uh, salute with the coffee cup in his hand. Bro, you see that? Bush had a whole puppy in his hand. Exactly. He had a whole puppy in his hand like this. Wait, <laughs> like, I can't. I, I got y'all a little bit. But you know what? I, if anything, you even mad, if he does he get off, that's the most American thing you can have in your hand is a Starbucks cup. <laughs> I got it. Because he's saluting with a cup in his hand. My thing. Capitalism. Well, if you support Starbucks, you support the Israeli occupation in Palestine. Let's first say that. That's America. I know. No, 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 no. I'm not negating what you're saying. I'm just like, let's add that background. You know what I'm saying? But let me. Can I ask y'all a question? Um, do you guys think? Do you guys think that it is the death threats, or do you think that it's because Obama can't fit the definition of African American? Why he doesn't do? more for the African-American community. Here's and wait, wait, what I mean by that 
is that as African Americans that can trace our bloodline to slavery, we don't know if we was Kenyan, we don't know if we were Rwanda, etc. His father's from Kenya. There we go. Right. So here's, here's yeah. my take on that. So, so my question is, do you think do you think it's the death threats or the fact that he can't really identify with the black struggle in America genetically, gotcha. like you're saying, gotcha. because his upbringings with white resources, etc., gotcha. or is it because of death threats? Gotcha. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so that's my question. <laughs> that's my question. Here's my take on that. Okay. Being that he is a figurehead in a system of oppression, regardless of his affiliations, regardless of how he feels, regardless of how he identifies himself, he will never, regardless of his intentions, be able to counteract that. Even if he wanted to do something, he would not be able to because the whole system is built around not being able to. No, regardless of if you're in power, well, not even in power because he's a figure. Like I said, right. there are people controlling him, then he can't do what he needs to do. They were willing to shut the whole government down. They, shut it down! They shut the whole damn government down, shut it down just to say, fuck you, black man. So to think that even if he wanted to step up, he wouldn't be able to. You can see it in his face. The man has been defeated. He came in thinking he was going to change some shit. He can't change shit. I believe. He thought. And like, that's, why, that, that's why I feel like when people come with this, well, we need to put our people in. We need to shut this shit down and rebuild. You gotta level this shit out. Oh my god. It back up. How many times have I said we need a complete breakdown and restructure? Yes. yes. You can't build patches like, on foundation like? problems. Problem. It don't <laughs> work that like? way. How do we how do we get there? You know what I'm saying? If, uh, yeah. if we're being honest, we we, we will never ever it's, live in a post-racial society nope. like that. Not here. Not, here. We, not here. It's, it's not no, not in America because this country is built on violence and it's it's built on hate and it's built on racism and it's built on the back. Hey, people got you know what I'm saying? Not, not just black people, America, America, but America, natives, America, everybody. It's the built on it. So there's no way for us to really get away from it if we're being realistic. The thing is, is that, like, for instance, my problem with, 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 with President Obama, and for the record, I, I, I'm one of those people that, that feel like, you know, I can talk about him, but other people not gonna talk about him crazy. You know what I'm saying? You know how you got people in your family. You got your drunk right. uncle. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? Think you such a drunk, you yeah. like me to you job or whatever. But then let somebody else. Hey, you better tell talking about my uncle, bro. I beat you. Know what I'm saying? So let's get that out the way first. But the thing is, like, like you said. It's not that his, his color, he does not identify with what it means to really be black in America. You know what I'm saying? Like really, to be honest with you, I don't feel like he's really getting it he until now. You know what I'm saying? As he's as he's seeing how people are responding to him now, I think he's really he's really feeling more of the hate now than he ever did. You know what I'm saying? Look, I'm the black Ivy League. Right. But the, the thing that the thing that that, 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 that first makes me about about Barack Obama is that he did have great plans coming in. He did have great plans. We can use, we can use a good example like uh, 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 Obamacare. And I say Obamacare now because I know that, you know, uh, conservatives and people who are against the president say Obamacare like a slur. Mm -hmm. But give it give it about five or six years, they won't call it that anymore because they, they, they're not going to want his name to be associated with it because I feel like it's, it's going to be a beast. You know what I'm saying? And they're going to be like, but, he didn't do that shit, we didn't. Right, they're, they're going to call it something else, but they'll never call it Obamacare after that point. But the original plan he had for it was such a beast, like it was, it was great, you know what I'm saying? But then he made all these concessions, he took all this stuff out, he changed all these different aspects of it to appease people across the aisle and then nobody across the aisle voted for it. Not one person. You know what I'm saying? So now we got this watered down joint and you don't even feel the effects of it to be honest with you for most people. But my thing is he he made he tried to be too nice to people across the aisle, to people who are contrary to him, to people that are going to hate him regardless of what he does. No matter what type of success he has, and, 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 and I don't even know how you measure success, but regardless of what type of success he has, 
people are going to hate him for who he is and not for really the job that he's doing. So my thing was, when he, his first term, I was like, that's cool, you know what I'm saying? Because he, he, got, he, got, he got to get reelected. But once he got reelected, and I'm like, come on, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's, it's time to go ahead and start really, you know, saying, you know, forget what people are talking about and just doing his own thing. Because it's your last term. Right. Listen, you're going to be rich as shit listen, from just speaking to people after this. Like every other president. <laughs> right. Him more so than others because of, you know, the role he played in history. But the thing is, like, like this cat, I don't know how to explain it without being too. Yeah, look, we don't have to get into the specifics of the Obamacare, like, that's yeah, a whole nother not, issue. Not, all. Even, not even Obamacare. Yeah. But, but, okay, like, the thing is, the thing that I appreciated, no, I telling them. the thing that I appreciated about Bush, and I, and I, and I, and I, and I hated Bush, you know what I'm saying? But what I appreciated about him was that whether something was right or wrong, if he believed in it, he made that thing happen. Yeah. He didn't care who supported him. He didn't care who was behind him. He didn't care who, who opposed him. He was like, listen, this is what I want to happen. Beat up. <laughs> and this is what's going to happen. <laughs> but he was also in a different position, though, than Obama. With Obama being the first black president. I'm about to say, Obama daddy wasn't president before. That's yeah. true. Like, you know what I mean? Term. Like, but we're talking about second term now. Right. Because right, he had to show right. soft you no more. Right. You know what I'm saying? Because <laughs> it was like, I'm here now. You know what I'm saying? Y'all got to deal with me regardless because you're not going to find a reason to impeach me because I'm pretty much Teflon. You know what I'm saying? So at that point, like like, uh, like a small thing. Okay, for instance, Robin Williams, when he when he, when he he died. I know he does. This cat Barack Obama, Man. President Obama, had a statement on deck, like right. immediately. Yeah. Immediately, as soon as, as soon as it was announced, that cat was out there. Oh man, he meant so much to the country and blase, blase, blase. But when this situation happened out here, it's like, bro, how long is it, it gonna take for you to look say something? Completely like a puppet. Exactly. Because like, like that's what I, I was watching the, I was watching the dress. I was like, okay, okay, all right. I'm like, yeah. all right, here all come. right, all right. Here it come. Let me put my clothes on. Bro. <laughs> yeah, I'm like, <laughs> like, bro, like you let us, like it, 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 it seemed like. What's his name? Like, what you really want to say, coward. sorry, my niggas, it's all I can do right now. Yeah. I can't do nothing is, else. And listen, I understand that he's not the president of black people. Right. <laughs> I understand that. He's the president of the United States of America. I understand that he has to represent the whole country. I understand that. But, 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 man give the same amount of attention to the stuff that we care about and don't care if they say that you you know like if they feel oh well he now he's catering the black no, no no this has never no, happened but the thing is the, the perception is if he gives us the same amount of attention that he gives white people that he cares about our situation more right and that's because historically we haven't had anybody who gives us even right. a, a, a moderate amount of attention compared to what white people care right. about. You can't take the level up anymore. Then all of a sudden, you're a radical. You're a radical president. I just yeah. being a human. I don't want to be three fifths of a person anymore. <laughs> I did that shit. I thought we took care of that already. I'm trying to be a whole citizen here. All I want is my rights according to the Constitution. Right. But that, you, don't have to, you don't have to like me. Matter of fact, you can hate me because I'm black. Right. That's fine. But give but, me my rights. But you're going right. to respect, respect me, me and I'm going to have the same rights as everybody. This white dude sitting there. Because I don't have to you know deal with saying? you. That's fine. We don't even have to There's interact it. with each other. To it, be exactly. totally honest. They I'm sound like a uh, Stuckley Carmichael in a, now. Integration <laughs> it set us back. It really did. Bam! It oh! Forward. Stuckley Carmichael is coming out, y'all. I said the shit Y'all killed him, but you, know you didn't why? kill I his idea. Can I add something to that? What's up? Integra you know what integration did to us? It ripped apart black community. That? Because when we when we had that night of protest and they had the they had the curfew, mm -hmm. that was the strongest sense of black solidarity solidarity amongst blacks. Because it's like beforehand, you would never think of robbing another black. But let me never. tell y'all this about because St. Louis we real quick. Let me tell you this about St. Louis. St. Louis is full of haters. Thank like you. I was, when I, was I tell full. you I was the love that we received that first week after Mike Brown died and we all Man. got tear gas like we was in a fucking another country somewhere. And let me let me be The love specific. that we received, we've never seen no shit like that. Right. The way we came together, we have never received. come together hey, like that. It's Ever. A love, it's a we did that shit behind tonight. I don't know none of y'all. Exactly. <laughs> and I love all of y'all. Like before now, 
like just St. Louis, we have we have the type of mind state where if I don't know you, I'm not rocking with you. Yep. Don't even, exactly. don't even, I'm don't even, my bag. don't even speak to me. You know what I'm saying? Like, if, even though some cordial, like, don't ask how. But that's systemic that's to keep us from exactly. becoming in a community. Exactly. We have learned to view each other as the same threat that's that they see us as. Right. Right. But, but, but the thing is, though, it, it goes across the board, though. It's not just amongst black people. White people do the same thing. You know what I'm saying? It's just St. Louis. We like that. But amongst black people, though. St. Louis, and I know it's, it's a worldwide <laughs> epidemic, <laughs> but I know out here, like, we hate each other. Yeah, like, absolutely. straight up, like, we don't, we, don't want, we don't want to see the next man come up unless I'm coming up with, with you, you, or I I'm going to be able to up. eat off your plate, right. or, or, I, you or so you I can say, you right, or, or I, I, I got a favor invested in you now, so I'm going to get that back. Exactly. That's the only time we care. Other than that is, I don't want to see this cat come up, you know what I'm saying, because I'm trying to eat. But... This situation here, though, has galvanized us together. Like it was like that. That was the most moving thing about the whole movie. That's what moved me. Is because when we were out there with Florida, it was sounds like I go out there. It'd be like ten o'clock in the morning, and it'd be you know a hundred people out there and whatnot. People I don't know, and we just sit down and start chopping it up, like on a humble. I don't even know your name, but we just rapping for like a good fifteen, twenty minutes. Coming back before, and if somebody sit down, sit down next to me. I thought he was going to get you me. You're my bubble, my friend. You're my bubble, dog. Let me let me get that. You know? Right. So, I definitely, that's one aspect of the whole situation where I feel like, you know, St. Louis just came together on that whole, on this whole situation. And, that, and it's, like, that shit was so it's, beautiful. It's love. It, it, it shit really was so is love. Beautiful. And I love y'all for this that. lady. Thank y'all for that. Everybody that came to St. Louis to show us love, Real we talk. love y'all back. Real talk. Real talk. Y'all family to us. Real talk. Y'all family to us. Like the people, my, my folks who came from Chicago. Chicago, all of them. You know what I'm saying? Uh, Y'all got me ready to move down here. Like my auntie <laughs> and them, my auntie and my cousin and them staying unincorporated. You know what I mean? So yeah, I'm like, yeah. it's not like I don't have no roots down right. here. Right. Um, but y'all got me ready to, because, but you know what it is though? Because I need to be where the revol revolution is. And, I and I'm like serious because I'm, I'm tired. I'm exactly as tired as y'all. You know what I mean? Like, no, I wasn't here in Ferguson. No, I didn't know Mike Brown, but. Uh, I, I, I didn't know Mike Brown, right. but I know Mike right. Brown. But exactly, we, we, all know Cause, cause Mike we know a Mike Brown. Right. Yeah. You know what I mean? And I also know that my brother and my son could also be Mike Brown, Trayvon Martin, Oscar yeah. Grant, Alan Blue for John Crawford, right. Ford. Right. You see what I'm you saying? saying? Like we can just keep yeah. the list going. And the fucked up part about that is majority of the names that have been listed were in the past few months. Not right. you know that's just I can think of off the top of my head. That's not like some shit over the, the course of the decade in America. Like this is some fifty years. It's like no, this is recent. You know what I'm saying? And right. them is only the ones that we know about. Exactly. It's all the ones that happen exactly. that we don't even know about. So I'm like, people don't understand that. There's no law that says that police have to report any of their fatal shootings. They don't have to report that shit. They don't have to keep track of that shit. No, it's left up to, to the family and friends shit. of the people. And if exactly. they have the ability to reach out to people and, and draw attention to, to that shit. Exactly. To reach out to people. But and that, then and that's when it becomes, once again, a race and class issue. You see what I'm saying? Like, exactly. Still, it's primarily you might race. Disagree. It is. It's primarily. Above all else. No, and I agree with that because I'm not saying that there is no intersectionality for all of the people who are watching exactly. my stream who are not who are not black. Exactly. What I am saying, once again, We're to clarify. No, no, no. What I'm saying is oppressed. what I'm saying is is that if you are LGBT person, LGBTQ, that's completely fine. But if you are black LGBTQ, you, you see what I'm saying? Exactly. So I'm that's why I'm like I'm not saying that people are not being oppressed. I'm not even saying that you are not oppressed under the same system with the same tactics that have been happening. What I am saying is that first it was the indigenous people of this country, then it was black people, and then after that it was this, then that, whatever. Psychology. But they never stopped. No, it's a psychology. They never it's stopped. Psychology. You know what I mean? It's how their minds are set up, and that's a problem. And how do you change somebody? Man? That, you that, don't. That's what I'm you to step away from that shit. I don't want to sound like 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 I'm, like, like I'm hopeless here. or something like that. But I'm just I just want to be real with people. You know what I'm saying? Don't think that. Somebody said I had rich white people staring at me today as I waited for food at the food bank. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> and that's the thing. Like I'm saying, it, it is an issue of, of, of class to, on a certain on a certain level, but it is based. It is about race, especially this situation in particular. Especially just you if you look back at all of, of, of these police killings that happened this summer, that would not happen 
with a poor white person. No. We're they just point blank period. Right. Now, 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 am I saying that they're not hated for being poor? No. I'm not saying that. We're all because, hated for being poor. Because America hates poor people. <laughs> Even though America, by and large, is poor. We were poor. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm, 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 keep it 100, I'm working class poor. Like a mother. Period. You know what I'm saying? I'm one breakdown away from this. <laughs> <laughs> one more time, no, no. I ain't got shit to say. 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 I ain't got for black people, you know yep. what I'm saying? Even even rich black people are hated. So here's the thing. For being black. Let me say this about point that. About that point right there. Somebody has to feel better than somebody else in this country. <laughs> so even if you're poor, well, you're still white. It's okay. Yeah. Yeah. There are people. There are people that uh, that are worse off than me. I'm just poor. Right. It's so you gotta hate somebody. Everybody. But you know what? But that's somebody. what. But you know what? But you know what? But you know what? But that's, why, they set it up that but that's why capitalism is so effective, right? Because now wow. it's not just Don't about race. What about it is? Capitalism. No, because it's not just about race. Now <laughs> it's the competitivity, competitive level, right? And so in order for me to be better. I gotta be better than you, I which means right. I need you not to survive yep. so right. that I can be successful. But, you see what I'm saying? So we don't have community. Isn't there also, there's also the we rugged individual of, of selective memory. All right, so like never forget when, when I was when we had that uh, down there by the pizza place. I talked to the, the people over, uh, across the street because I just like talking to random people that that don't believe what I believe. And this lady, she's like, I never knew. Racism existed in St. Louis like this. I was like, okay, keep talking. I said, keep talking. Say that again. She said, I never. She never knew racism was an issue in St. Louis. Who said that? This this white, white lady. They say this shit all the time. Right. Well, duh. Yeah, yeah, racism. And so I was like, so you never knew this existed. Hold on. And we racist for pointing out. Just because I don't say niggers. We racist. We racist for pointing out though. You might want to get. Fuck these motherfuckers. You know what I'm saying? Fuck these motherfucking cameras when they come out. If that's the enemy, motherfucking bomb on them. Stop standing up there in front of they motherfucking shit. Well, if don't nobody film it and put it out, won't nobody know what's happening. Fuck that shit. Fuck the camera. All that motherfucking shit. It's because when they do they motherfucking shit, nigga, they break. Fucking that motherfucking she already pours yeah. down. If it wasn't for our cameras, nobody in the country would know fuck what the fuck cameras. is even happening here. Fuck your cameras. Fuck <laughs> all that motherfucking <laughs> shit, nigga. This real. No, life. not fuck my camera. Because my camera is going to protect y'all and put out what the fuck is happening. Yeah, I'm ready. What the fuck? Where's my shit? I'm not leaving. What you mean? Yes, I am. I'm waiting for the rescue, motherfuckers. Until motherfuckers is really ready to stand up and revolt, the only thing I'm picking up is the camera. Because motherfuckers ain't got my back. So don't get mad at me. Y'all know. No, I'm the street too. Shit. All right. You think you're the only one? Fuck cameras. But listen, no. Fuck TVs, radio. I'm going to tell you right fucking now. If I was to go get a gun and be like, I'm going to shoot the police, motherfuckers would leave my ass to get shot by them. So I, motherfuckers ain't ready. So don't fucking tell me I picked up a camera instead of a gun because ain't nobody got my back like that. I don't give a fuck. Yeah, but listen. Tell me that don't come cuss me out. But listen though. I don't let my motherfucking baby at home to come out. Shit. He found the nerve camera to say fuck these. No, but I'm sorry. You know what? No, hold on. Check this out. Check this out. No, wait a minute. No, on some real shit though. On some real shit though. On some real shit though. And I love you, A9. You know. I do. Uh, why would you come cuss the black fucking camera woman out? Uh, why? Because why as a black man? You know I'm sorry. You know, you know what I mean? Like I'm not saying that. Yo, my lighter. But listen, let me tell you about patriarchy. Look, I got a whole thing about patriarchy. But you know what I'm saying? Like I don't want to go attack you. When well, we were just talking about how shit is internalized. Why you come cuss me out? Why? Because if it, it, it is it more acceptable? Is you ready to die? Is you ready to die? Yes, I am. For what you believe in. Yeah, why you think I'm here? I remember your face. What you think I'm here for? You here? You here for that? You here for that? You could remember. They were fucking. What you mean? You here for that? What you mean? And what you mean? I'm gonna tell you right now in your face, dude. I'm a hoe talking to a woman. First of all, don't stay long enough. Chill on that. But, oh my God. but see, I'm so stupid. Listen, to be to be to be fair though, to be fair, 
he did come and, and holler at them first. You know what I'm saying? You know, it was, well, just, no, it was the fact that she stood on that side though. and it was crazy because he was like, if I saw a cop, I'd tell him to say, face, fuck you. I was like, okay, it's okay. Right. 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 Everybody, everybody, directions everybody has yeah. some yeah. 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 And sometimes when people get that mad and that drunk, they don't know how to direct their yeah. anger. Yeah. Yeah. And they just. Yeah. Well, yeah. don't listen, motherfucking come listen. do that shit with me. Let me go. Let me don't go. do that with me. Because sometimes you just got the wrong motherfucker because I ain't the one. Straight up. That's true. That's true. I don't want you to be told. No, don't do that shit to me. The reason, the reason why. Oh, you coming back? The reason why. Don't do that to me. The reason. Leave me a fuck alone, man. Leave me alone. Yeah, cause the the one you wanna cut the motherfucker out, the police over there. No, they the right one. The fuck? Brown motherfuckers, right? You do. She's the one. No, but you ain't gotta help me, cause you won't have to help me. Now, the wrong motherfuckers right. Now, look. Check this out. The wrong motherfuckers right. The wrong motherfuckers right. You don't want to talk about revolution. Go over there. Go over there. Check it out. Why you over there? Why you over there? Oh, that is beautiful. Now, thank you very much for this picture I made in my new background. This one, the one where we sat down and formed the line. We're going to pull up art for some reason. We got on the two. Look, he got a chopper. Look, he got a chopper. Man, oh, I ain't even trying to hear none of that shit. Are oh, you not looking professional? Man, that's because you know why? Because the, the professional looking motherfuckers don't stand out here and get PTSD and get fucked up with the crowd trying to film them. So don't tell me about acting professional. Set it off. We just talking to America. But where he been all goddamn night? Nowhere. He ain't been nowhere. Where else I'm saying? Nowhere he was supposed to be. That's I'm like, where you even been all night while we been doing this shit? Is a bitch. White supremacy gave black men patriarchy so they could feel better than somebody else, and they don't know what to do with them. She like anyway. Back to what we was talking about. <laughs> this is an example. This is an, it's an example of exactly what I'm talking about. I'm mad. I want to steal on his ass. <laughs> Everybody in the stream saying he just ignorant. Somebody beat him up. Nah, ain't nobody gonna do that. You know, if anything, they gonna they gonna try to talk to him because people understand the repressed aggression you know what i'm saying but what i'm saying is you can't be attacking your community y'all understand that because y'all be on my facebook and my twitter and when i get mad i get a flash and y'all be like what the fuck, bella you know what i mean so it's the same thing it's a taste of my own medicine in some ways because i get upset but i'm like at the same time you can't run up on my because you don't know and just get at it I mean, I ain't. That's what we doing. We over here decompressing. She, she turned. She turned. No, don't act like you ain't. We're trying to decompress. No, I done went back to having a conversation. She's decompressed now. I'm done. <laughs> Subtract ourselves from that situation. No, sir. Yes. That is my sister. Absolutely. Yes. But not love. In struggle. Yeah, we sisters in struggle. For sure. What that tear gas And that's what they're not going to tear gas Today? Today. You ain't, did you get tear gas? But you know what? I filmed a lot of protests nah, where we tear got tear gas a lot. So I'm not about to run. I gotta, I gotta go through the stage. <clears throat> but the crazy part is, I'm an American citizen. I'm not. An MP. I'm not, I'm not in a, no, I'm saying I'm not in the military. I've never been to war. I've been tear gassed in America. Well, you was, in, you was, you was right there when they threw it. You know? I've been tear gassed several right times there? before. This because is actually the I first time I. I have the right to assemble. What's that? And then they threw tear gas at us. Hey! Hold on, hold on, here she is. What's that, bruh? It's not using too much yeah. authority. Shit, come out that here. That's called Bring it in. <laughs> How? I tell you, they have, they have, they have the special. So this time here, good conversation. Let's have this conversation right here. I have some questions for you. Oh, we breaking up. We breaking up. Um, so you I missed like my that flight. I'm gonna be back tomorrow. Acceptable level of force to you is on a car. I'm asking. No, I'm asking. Well, this one, no, it's not. It's not acceptable. Okay. But it's for them defending their life too. Because oh, they, for so sure. here's my question. What are they defending them? Their lives. For sure. The Constitution? Because I thought they did that on the. I'm so fucking excited. Not in America. 
I'm so excited to come back. You all, the protesters. You all, I was like, it might be a slightly different Bella when I got me personally, all my uh, old school followers. I'm going to get back to the bottle of water. It was throwing bottles. Plastic water. It was throwing some of the water. You know what I'm saying? They need someone to shoot you with a fire trigger. That's right. I didn't say anything like that. No, I'm asking. It's their decision. No, that's what I'm saying. I'm asking you. I'm interviewing you right now. I'm asking you for your opinion on this. As a MP, as an American citizen, as an American soldier, right? How do you feel about it? How do you feel that they treated Americans? Yeah, my two cents, that's ain't on Ops Pro filming right there if you want to switch over to his stream. I'm on the phone talking to Occupy the Mob. I'm sorry. You know, I, I love my Oakland homie. Uh, I, I, ain't on Ops Pro said, what's that? You the whole family. Let me say it again. I understand. Say what you said so again. You threw me off. Again, my question Hello? is, as Do I an think American right. citizen and as an MP, all right. Yeah, we both streaming a conversation. Like that was an acceptable level of force from our government towards our citizens. All right, for sure. I'm about to get a phone back. In war and in All right, I'll see you later. Peace time. Okay. No, I'm not. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm definitely like that. Okay. So, no, hold on, hold on. Go ahead. They sent the they send the NG down here. For cow, for crowd control, uh -huh. which is the National Guard, mm -hmm. but they wasn't on the street. No. They was just protecting the command center. You know what I'm saying? They have the tanks riding around. You know, but you all didn't see. Them. No, we saw them. We and know you that saw, they you saw one. You know? I saw. One. I saw more than one tank. How many tanks did you see? I saw at least three tanks. Where are you seeing that? That's not true. But, um, I know where they were. <laughs> yeah, I know you know where they were. I knew. I went. I was. I was actually but that's downtown. Why I, when they was coming across the tracks. That's why I'm trying to talk about. That's that's why I mean, you didn't ask the question though. So how do you feel that their level of force versus what they were facing? I can't. I can't say how I feel because I wasn't on West Carson. You know what I'm saying? You all was out there. Yeah. I can't tell you how I feel if I wasn't there. Okay. You know what I'm saying? So I can't answer that question for you. Even though you weren't there, mm -hmm. put yourself in our shoes as if you were there. How would you and, feel? And as they an were American? Tear because, you. Because, because I've been through the situation more than one time, it wouldn't bother me. Now, if I wasn't, now if I wasn't in the military. In your own country? Against no, your no, own no, no, no. government? I'm talking about in Buka. No, that's what I'm saying. If you were in your own country, exercising your own rights on your own streets that your tax dollars paid for, how would you feel? I feel like this. If I know they're gonna do, if I know they're gonna throw tear gas, I wouldn't be out. There. So wait, 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 wait. If they did it more than one time, you wouldn't exercise your rights. I would exercise my rights. Wait, wait, wait. The military is supposed to be spreading democracy, but we can't. Protect democracy at home, so when you come back, you got the right? No, I'm real confused on that one. Oh, real for real. Anything while I'm here. My badge doesn't mean anything to them police officers while I'm here. Why do you think I stout their way? Oh, so because of police okay? violence, you don't you don't access your, your constitutionally your protected rights. I access it. I don't fear anybody. Okay. But you, hold on, yes you do, because you said you won. I'm gonna tell, tell y'all this. I'm sorry for touching you, you got offended. I walked over here one day by myself, and I told them they're going to use legal force against us. I'm going to use my legal force back. Mm -hmm. And I had my M16 on my back, and they know what it was. You know what I'm saying? I'm here to defend you all just like you all here. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm a protester. You know, I don't have to be here. I could be on the police side, but am I? I'm on you all side. No, that's what I'm saying. That's why I'm, at, so I'm asking these questions to see exactly how you feel about it. Because you can feel how you I'm not attacking you by any means. Well, it is to protect the citizens. But, but not on their own soil. Ah! It's supposed to be. It's supposed to be to protect us from terrorists, domestic and foreign. And that's correct? what we are here to do. So if the no, police come home, but if the police, so my state, you're a citizen too. I'm a citizen. I'm not. I'm not in another country. No, 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 no. I'm. I, I'm not talking about you because I understand oh. that you're home. Oh. But what I'm saying is that, um, if the military were to come, and these are American citizens mm -hmm. who are accessing their right to free speech and they're demanding justice, which is their right. Mm -hmm is not the only role of the military to protect the citizens if the police are violently oppressing the citizens who are well within their rights but at that point are the police not the domestic terrorists Define terror. personally Define terror. i can tell you like this 
if the military was to come down here, they did. They were well, well, they they weren't on the streets, but they were here. They were here, but they, they were on the streets. It been and I don't, I don't, I don't. Okay, but what is Kent State? I was just about to say that. The, the, the school ain't the street, but they shot we'd them goddamn dead. students. We'd have been shot dead in the streets in our own. The school is not the street, but they got they shot them students. Here, real quick. So last night, when Captain Johnson came out here, it was the Missouri Highway Patrol. The Highway State Patrol. Patrol. Yep. I don't know. He came out Guys. discussing the five-second rule that has been illegally enforced. Never but that's not that's not that's, no, not, that's not in the daytime though. Hold on. Hold on. What does that have to do? Free speech got a time limit. I understand that, and you all let them do that. Do free speech got a time limit? We question them. We ask them why. We I'm not saying. I'm not. I'm not saying. I'm not saying like that. You all question them. Yeah, that's true. I'm saying. I'm saying like like you all get scared. When the police come, like, because the they kill people. <laughs> 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 but, but you all complaining about your legal rights. You have the legal right to stand up against the police officer. And that's why I'm here, and I'm ready. To but they will arrest. And them lawsuits right there. You all have to. But wait, 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 wait. We gotta depend on the Department of Justice, which is actively not enforcing. The, our protection that we're supposed to have, like the Department of Justice, is not holding the police department accountable. They not holding Darren Wilson accountable. But we're supposed to count on them to provide justice for us in a lawsuit when they're allowing the police to continue to oppress people violently. You see what I'm saying? Like that? That's not a system that works. So it's like that's. It's not a system that works. This is the best that they can do because they will literally shoot them. They have. They, they, they already have, so you can't say that. They have literally already done that. Who has not been shot? A boy was shot. That's why we're here. They shot someone. No, 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 over in Germany, there's a lot of shit going on worse than this shit right now. Uh, but Germany be watching my stream and giving support because they are also... That's why I'm right here. I'm over on two months Syria, leave. there's a lot of shit going on right now. Oh, you know what? Uh, and in Palestine, there's a lot of shit going on. But you know what they all do? They be like, Ferguson is fucked up. Why is America not doing no shit about that? But y'all coming over here acting like you gonna run our shit. The police force is more of a threat to my personhood than ISIS is right now. We're not, yeah. we're not paying ISIS. We're not paying ISIS, not paying ISIS, ISIS and employing them. At this point. Black Americans. Uh, Obama done dropped more drones on an African country I don't, I don't than any goddamn birds. Sorry. Right. So I'm like, yeah, they yeah. they don't give a fuck. You know what I'm saying? You know, you have a, you have a couple Mexican military personnel. Mm -hmm. You know, but it's not a lot of. Them. I'm saying they're American citizens. And, and you know how many soldiers die in one day? Do you? I understand that. Absolutely. You saying you saying the police killed more American citizens than you know over in ISIS? I totally doubt that. Do you? Yes. Because we can count them up. Like we can count them up. The reported killing. I don't know if my stream wants to watch this anymore. <laughs> <laughs> They're the saying a lot of things, is, like, from <laughs> like this is a live trend. What they say? It's not. Leave the trolls come behind. <laughs> There's a lot of that going on in my vein right now. Right. Uh, Look, they're just the simply topic? saying what that you kind of like refuse to understand and that it's a lost cause and this is like discussing things with the troll in life. <laughs> real life trolls. Guys, I had a real life troll today. I went to the, <laughs> listen, I went to the St. Louis County Council meeting Tuesday at 6 p.m. in Clayton, Missouri and the woman got up there explaining that she wanted to support the law and support the people that uphold the law and she wanted to pay attention to innocent until so proven guilty. So my response to her rant to the council was, what about the dead black boy in the street? You know, she responded to me and said, this white woman, shut up. The bitch told me to shut up. <laughs> that innocent until proven guilty applies to both the officer and the person that he shot. Can I ask a question though? Like, how do you feel? I mean, this is my personal opinion, right? But uh, do you agree that it's not a justice system, it's a hostage and ransom system. Because before we ever deal with issues of innocence or guilt, so you are taken and put in jail, and then they demand a but monetary compensation for your release so that we can get to the issue of innocence look, or guilt. You can look at it as both a hostage and a uh, ransom situation. You can also look at it as it's a prison system. It's not a justice system, it is a prison system. In the Constitution, slavery was made legal 
illegal through prisons. That is why the school to prison and pipeline. I'm, I'm, yeah, the school to prison pipeline is so high for blacks because there's a war on blackness. I don't care who says it doesn't exist. I'm here. I know it doesn't exist. There's a war on our blackness. There's a school to prison pipeline. Everything results in prison. The war on drugs resulted in all of us going to prison. They take our voting rights after we go to prison, after they've thrown us in prison for miscellaneous shit, dumb shit, nonviolent shit. That is what the system is. Not a justice system, it's a prison system. Let me tell you slavery something. System. Let me tell you something. My cousin went to jail for the same amount of time selling weed that Johannes Messerly got for shooting Oscar Grant, handcuffed Damn. face down on the ground. That's yes, all I'm saying. That's what I'm so talking motherfuckers want to tell me it ain't a race. That's issue. what I'm talking about. A couple of weeks ago, my brother, not far from here, he got pulled out of his car, held at gunpoint, put on the ground, arrested. He you know he wasn't read his rights, lost his job. And they're like, oh, my we, dad, we were looking, right. We were person, looking for someone. Like, my you fault. Called, you weren't that. You already started a cycle that has been going on and with now, blacks that is causing them to decline. Because all us niggas look alike. And exactly. you know that? That's what it is. Right. We all look alike. Monkey. Oh, you fit the description. Mm -hmm. That's what it is. Real talk. It's not a justice system. There's no justice If y'all get a chance, if y'all get a chance. On my YouTube, you know, if you just put Bella Echo mm -hmm. in the Google and then say, and then say "Walking Wild Black," mm -hmm. I shot a video. It was we had a protest with Alan Bluford's parents, who uh, he was the one I was telling y'all about. Miguel Masso shot him and shot himself in the foot. So we had a protest where um, Alan Bluford's parents brought these big ass pink slips that they had made, and they were demanding that Howard Jordan and the officer that shot uh, his name is Miguel Masso that shot Alan Bluford be terminated, right? Quick reminders to the public. Uh -huh. Darren Wilson is still on paid leave. Oh, yeah, no, no. Oh, girl. Just so yeah, know, yeah, yeah, yeah. That is definitely a well-known guy. Out there. <laughs> so, right when we left there, it, it's like it, we got a plaza, right? So, it's like on the corner of the plaza, there's this coffee shop, and it's called Awaken Cafe. Mm -hmm. So, we went over there to go get coffee, and I got my dog, so I couldn't go in. Right. And I was smoking a cigarette, sitting outside with my iPad. Mind you, I was just streaming the event like I'm doing here. Right. And I'm sitting outside smoking do? a cigarette, right? And my friend Courtney, who's the mod in Canada, mm -hmm. she uh, went in to get a coffee, came, and when she came out, Outside, these black boys was walking in front of me and the police was driving this way and slammed on the brakes hell hard and looked hard than a motherfucker and I and they stopped and looked because you know we black you guys look right and so I was like I said they just walking while black they didn't do nothing it's cool you know what I mean and they looked at me and they went I know, right? Like they had them. We had a moment. We had that moment. Like, you know sorry, it, it but, came out. We got to right. let it pass. Right. So we pass. right. So we had that moment. I'm telling you, when I tell you that the police officer slammed on his brakes. Hit a U-turn, bounce down, get on the ground, get on the ground. You see what I'm saying? Walking while black, look for it on that YouTube way. and you will fucking see. When I tell you, I was just in North St. Louis City today, 6th District, St. Louis Metropolitan Police Department. I'm riding down the street. Well, I'm parked actually on the side of the street. I'm about to pull off. The police She's come like, down oh my God, the, the two boys. The police come down the street. There are um, about five black males, younger, sitting on the front porch. They slam on their brakes so hard. Like, I had to tweet it. I was like, look, 6th District just hopped down on a bunch of black males, and today's the day that ends in Y, and water is wet. Because that's what <laughs> happens. That's our reality, and people are trying to tell us, well, it can't be that bad. You're that not going through this shit every day. We do this shit every day. Every fucking day, and nobody cares. Nobody mm -hmm. wants to hear us. Nobody mm -hmm. wants to listen to us. They want to tell us, let it go. It's not that Hold bad. Up. Don't be a criminal. You don't know how much shit I got about my language, because I was there, and I'm like, what the fuck, motherfuck this, I don't give a fuck, all that. I but guess they right. want to pay attention to my language and ignore right. the reason why I'm so upset that I can't find any other word but fuck shit ass damn nation. all that. You know what I mean? We are righteously right. upset. It, right. Like this is real shit. We have a reason to be mad. And people trying to tell us, oh, calm down. You're not being logical. Let this shit happen to you. I bet you turn the fuck up. I bet you they turn up. Turn the fuck up. I'm not wrong for turning up. I'm mad. I yeah. have every right to be mad. I'm going to be mad. I'm going to stay mad. And until everybody else gets mad, right. that's when some shit's going to change. But stuff, stuff is changing. Did you see where Mashan students did that protest? Yep, against their teachers. Mashan students in the city, they protested because they weren't getting the right education. Because our they public needed. school they were getting poor are education. shit. And then the, the principal Ever since resigned, right? Ever integration, again. The, prin the principal resigned? I don't know what it is. I think the something Very happened with the principal. But they're, they're winning their All protest. All the teachers, nothing but, but we're leading that. They have a school full of substitutes.
prostitutes. And they were like, right. we just want to learn. Like, Hashtag yeah. turn the fuck up. <laughs> Go on, Rise PDX. Thank you. <laughs> They just want to learn, like these black yeah. kids, they just want to learn. That, and if that wasn't me, that came out of Oregon. Hashtag turn the fuck up. See, look, I'm telling you right now, many of the people that are watching this also were watching the day that I streamed that. You know what I'm saying? Like, it happens so much. That it, happens so it don't even, crazy. it's crazy. There are two Americas. If nobody wants to believe it, no. there's a white America, there's a black America. We are second class citizens. We've never been more than three fifths of a person to these people. Literally, we've never been more than three fifths of a person. They're still showing us every fucking day. My, every you know, day. you know what really showed it to me is Obama's first uh, address. address when he said that there was never a reason to like fight law enforcement. I said, wait, 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 hold on. And then he said uh, it was never a reason to fight law enforcement, and we need to restore Ferguson to uh, peace. No, and I said, wait, 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 hold on. Let me finish. Let me finish. Let me finish. Let me finish. I said, wait, 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 wait. So what you just told me was you want to restore to the same peace he was shot under. So mm -hmm. Shut the fuck up, exactly. nigga, right. and know your motherfucking exactly. place. That's and we going to have Uncle Tom just tell you that today. shit. Because like this lady, she's I know like, I've been saying this for yeah, hell of a long time. She's like, That's what we I just want Ferguson too. to go back the way it was. And I was like, that Ferguson was good to you. That Ferguson that you wanted to go back to was good for you. It wasn't good for everyone else. So everyone rallying for change, obviously something wasn't right for them to want to change. Y'all don't see it. Exactly. Like, you don't see it. Well, I was going to say that I definitely appreciated this entire conversation. I feel like it was educational. I think yeah. that people who are suffering from white supremacy or have reform clogging their judgment should definitely uh, check this, this particular link out. Um, I feel like it was a very enlightening conversation with some young black individuals who are definitely uh, passionate and educated about the issues that are affecting their communities. To try to degrade them and say that they are um, not educated or not employed, etc. They're doing their job right now by holding the government accountable and demanding justice and demanding access to their rights as citizens. So anything else in the way of criticism is null and void, is fucking um, irrelevant, and uh, really the attention just let us know that we're doing something right so you know i kick the trolls out because i want to pay attention to the comments of the people that support us um but it's like that type of ignorance is it's everywhere and like when they're around it kind of makes me happy even though i I, try, I have a hard time not feeding them um because i know it's like it's the other side of i'm doing something right haters only hate when they see you doing good that's it that's it period you know what I mean? And just like the man from the military could not address the questions, he could not answer them. You see what I'm saying? It lets you know that these are very straightforward questions. You could just come out and tell us the answer. It's okay, we big boys, we big girls. You know what I'm saying? I got my big girl panties on, I can handle it. You know what I'm saying? Um, we done been shot with tear gas, dragged through the street, you know, uh, um, oppressed systemically for hundreds of years. I mean, if that's just the truth of what the world is, just say that shit. Just say it. Stop making us live with the illusion of democracy, because that's not what this right. is. This is not a democratic nation. It's not because we still have the muted voices of people of color, primarily indigenous and African-American, right? And then we have the class issue. They're like, oh, don't forget, we still hate you broke motherfuckers. You know what I mean? Oh, and we hate you more if you support the niggas. Don't get it twisted. That's why his white privilege only goes so far. You see what I'm saying? Because he out here visibly with us. So as long as the other white people know, they're not going to give him the same type of shit that they would give us. Although he might not be arrested as violently, but maybe he might because he's spreading the word to everybody else with history. You, see, you know what I'm saying? So I'm like, it's problematic. Because, and that's why it's intersectional. But it's like a lot of people's white privilege, even though it's like they coming from a good place, it's kind of innocent because they're ignorant. You know what I mean? And, and we got to understand that ignorance is kind of innocent when it's not voluntary. You know what I mean? So it's like when they have the white privilege and they don't understand this shit, but they're like, oh, it's a human issue. It's not a race issue. Like, you got to open your eyes. We're not saying it's not a human issue. What we're saying is that you got to allow us to have the argument about race, because if you don't allow us to have that, we'll never c effectively combat the class issue because we'll right. be too segregated. Right. You know what I mean? Exactly. 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 It. And so that's why I'm like, I'm not 
And, and it kills me because as a people that have been subjected to racism, to where we definitely understand that we're second class citizens, it's like if we mention it, then we racist. Right. Exactly. We we're not even allowed to acknowledge the oppression that we live under or else we're criticized for that. But it's just candid it's candid conversation, honestly. And and a person I was talking to a, a, a white lady I was talking to, an older white lady, she was like, she feels that if she is out seen around protests or anything, she's seen as a racist automatically. I'm like, no, that's not true. You're not seen as a racist automatically. There's white people out here right now. Right. That's in your mind. Exactly. So the only problem is in your mind. Exactly. There's no problem with us. We exactly. want to have candid conversations about what's going on, and that is going to lead to reform and change exactly. because we're going to understand where each other are coming from. Exactly. But you can't just say, oh, I feel like I'm a racist just because you have no proof about that. I mean, I don't even know, DJ, what type of conversation we can have about the fact that they're charging $135, what is it, an hour to process? Um, is it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, that's what they're charging for the Freedom of Information Act. So when mainstream media is requesting information under the Freedom of Information Act from the Ferguson Police Department. Um, they're being charged like $135. I mean, it, wow. so it's funny. It's like the freedom of information, but you got to pay for that shit. Right. So once right. again, systemically, as African American people who are who are statistically kept in the lower ranks and not paid enough to like actually survive and save a little money, like we can't even access the freedom of yeah. information because right. it costs money. You know what I mean? So it's like we we like I said, we cannot effectively combat capitalism and class issues if we do not first pay attention and truly work on some solution for the race issues in this country. Mm -hmm. I mean, and I'm very passionate about that opinion. I understand that other people have other opinions, but typically the people who have other opinions are extremely brainwashed or not black. So, right. you know, I, I you. right, you know, that's just where kind of where I come from. Yeah. They ask me to ask you about that, but it's just like, that's my perspective on it. I really don't know how much else we can say about it. You know what I mean? What, what was his question again? He was asking, like, how do you feel, or what are your thoughts, or just just basically general the generally surrounding the fact that they are charging uh, media for to access information under the Freedom of Information Act as it pertains specifically to the Ferguson protest and what's going on with Darren Wilson and Mike Brown. That's the most ironic. I can't even think of words fast enough to explain how I feel about that. Like, so the very name of it is so misleading and wrong. Like free information you know what i'm saying like like this is this is public information right that you're holding you're holding the info you're not only holding people hostage you're holding the information hostage exactly. you know what i'm saying so it's like okay we're gonna charge we're gonna first we're gonna take away your rights we're gonna make up phony rules bullshit ass rules we're gonna make you keep walking we're gonna arrest you if you don't if you stop walking then we're gonna charge you a thousand dollars to get out of jail right if they were going to charge you a hundred and was one hundred and fifty dollars, one hundred and thirty-five dollars, I believe it is, an hour for that. No one has that money. No. No one has that money. A lot of these people are homeless and jobless because they feel so strongly about this. They are out here every night, and it's not because they don't want to work. It's because this is so. This is pressing on their heart so strong. Uh, this is more important than ten to fifteen dollars an hour. Exactly. It's more important exactly. than that because a black life is worth more than that. But it seems yeah. like we kind of are some of the only people to understand it. Yeah, I mean, and even the ones that are that are employed, like, I mean, I'm employed, but I'm coming out here in every spare moment that I have. Everyone's coming out here in their spare moments, and it's like it's it's gas money. It, it, people are using their resources, even you streaming, like you're using resources, you know, and to charge them that much for that. Yeah, if I can, if I got time that's before a, that's I leave a lie, my flight. Like, oh, that, that whole thing's a lie. My, I gotta board my plane. It, I can't Do miss not miss another time. flight. I can't miss it. Oh, you you better not miss flights. another flight. I miss it, and I'm, that's why I'm here tonight. I was supposed to leave today. Well, she missing on purpose. She loves us. I do love y'all. I love y'all. If y'all follow my Facebook and my Twitter, you already. I am coming back. It's, that's official. That's regardless of everything. I don't even care because <laughs> I'm like y'all. I, I don't give a fuck. Right. I'm so sick of this shit. And it's not even about me just being sick of it. It's the fact that my son is one years old and he's three feet tall. So 10 years old, he want to go play outside and put a hoodie on. You going to shoot him? He is Mike Brown. Yep. You see what I'm saying? And Trayvon. And Trayvon Martin. That's something that, that you can't understand as a black mom. That's a conversation. If you if you're a black if you're a black mom, you understand you have to have that conversation with your kids. Right. Because yeah, that's so All right, right love. Y'all be safe. See you next time. Can y'all put out a tweet when y'all get home just so people know y'all safe? Yeah. I got one more thing. Um be easy, be safe out here, guys. What the fuck was we just talking about? What was he just saying? The charging for the information. No, no, no. Like, we're right here, we just... Uh, what were we just talking about? <laughs> we tired. Right now, right there, right now, real quick, you walked up and said something. I don't even know shit. Mm.
Tired I'm tired now. Tired, y'all. Tired, y'all. Mom's having that. Uh, oh, there we go. Oh, there we go. Moms. Okay, so look. Wait, wait, wait. Yeah. Please, I know y'all about to leave. Just wait one second. Okay, so <laughs> we leave this. We, in I California, in. so what I'm saying is chivalry. I'm sorry. Okay, this is it. And then we go home. Everybody go home. Okay, look. <laughs> So chivalry, and this is my personal opinion as a black woman from the other coast, right? Mm -hmm. um, it, it's kind of dead over there. And here, like y'all are a lot more chivalrous just as, as men. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. And if y'all think that's a joke, then don't come together. But um, no, no, the men are a lot more chivalrous here. Exactly. But wait a minute. Never need to go to Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait. These niggas better than them. Wait. And so. Chivalrous niggas. Wait, wait, wait. You don't know what you mean, nigga. I done said let's go four, five times. Wait. Wait. Let me. Let me think. Can I make? Wait. No. Because I'm. I'm bringing it. I am bringing it back. All right. You too. Have a good night. I'm bringing it back, okay, because like when I first got here, I was asked, um, how do I feel about the men telling the women to step right, back, cool. you know what I'm saying, so that they can protect the women. Now, I, well, I, 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 I want to make my point, you know, real quick. Well, it's not real quick, but you know, I'm going to make it. Um, and so this is a, I got a couple of opinions on that because I, I respect men who want to protect the women who are the life givers Absolutely. and continue Absolutely. and will continue you know, you know what I'm saying and will continue to produce the children that will you know what I'm saying exactly. that will keep us alive that for real that keep that fight, keep a carry on our fight exactly mm -hmm. I also understand as a mother I don't even know how old you are but when I look at you I see my son and ain't nobody gonna fight as hard as me for my son. You understand what I'm saying? Right and so it's like, on the other hand, as a feminist, as a exactly. radical feminist, exactly. you know what I'm saying? But a radical black feminist, mm -hmm. which is different. Let's not get that different. shit twisted. Very different. Different. Which is different. You struggle that women and black women, especially face. Right, so let's not get that twisted. But as a black feminist mm -hmm. and a black mom, mm -hmm. I also understand women saying, Hold on, you gotta allow me the right to fight for my baby. Exactly. Because you somebody, baby, and right now in this instance, when I look at you, I think of my baby. So we one in the same. So those are my two opinions on that. My question is, as both black women in the movement on the front line and the black men in the movement on the line, how do y'all feel about that? Let me go. Let me go first and get okay. mine out of the way. Okay. Okay. Because because I am one of those men who are very happy because I have my best friend Alex out here and I love her to death. I, I give my life for her in instant. And um, <laughs> and, 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 yeah, as a man, you you like, like, you you you're happy to say I since I take however many bullets they got for you, but at the same time, some of these black women have more heart and more strength than some of the so-called men who will sit on this lot and leave them alone on the front lines okay. most most of you mean the ones that are ready ready Shut up, sister. <laughs> and, and, and it's like i respect that because no matter what the age when a woman as i heard saying that our our young black men are being killed it awakens that spirit of a lioness within them so it's at the same time i want to protect my women but i never want to overshadow them because they have that spirit to fight and lead and they are the ones leading out here so at the same time i give them their space to showcase their strength and be strong because we need that at the end of the day i'm right there next to them right. I don't have to stand in front of you, sister, because you were just as strong as everybody else on this right front on. line. And I've been really conflicted about that, too, because okay. women and children are always my partner. So I'm like, got to get the women out of here. got to get the women safety. But hell, if these other brothers ain't ready for the come down like some of these sisters are my sisters, you can gladly stand next to me as we fight the enemy. We need all the people we can get. Right on. Right on. Right on. I'm with you. I'm with you. got two minutes. I'm with him. You got two minutes. What he said. What, what he said. Right on. Right on. I'm going to piggyback on that thing. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Because I, I said a long time ago that women have been the driving force behind this movement and really mm -hmm. every movement that's happened in this country really. Yes, I know we have those, you know, prominent men as the faces of those women. But behind can you speak men, up so I can get this image right here while you're talking? I, say, I, I know we have men as prominent faces of all these different movements that happened, especially as far as civil rights is concerned and all that. But at the same time, it was women pushing them. You know what I'm saying? It was women doing the organizing. It was women getting the people together. It was women that's taking care of people that were, that were down. You know what I'm saying? Right, exactly, doing this, you know, this, this is what they do. Like she said, when, like you said, when you see us out here, exactly. it's in you inherently to want to take care of us and make sure that we're taking care of us and just, you know, care for us. And as a man, it should be inherent, but it's not that we want to protect y'all. You know what I'm saying? But 
a, a prime example, and you can ask, you know, either one of these ladies how disgusted I was mm -hmm. one night when we were out here, one day we, we, we cut down, we, we shut down the street or whatnot. It was me and like two other men and like six or seven women out in the street. Mm -hmm. But it was like 30 men on the sidewalk though. You know what I mean? Watching, you know, so I was just so, so disgusted because I'm like, why are we letting them be out here in, in harm's way? Mm -hmm. Like we afraid to get arrested because that's the most that's gonna happen. You get arrested, you might get your head busted, which has happened to all of us. Exactly. It we be willing to, to bust uh, each other head right. over less exactly. shit. Right. Right. Over exactly. Less. Exactly. But I mean, in particular, by right. the police. Right. Right. You know what mm -hmm. I'm saying? If you in St. Louis, it's just part and parcel of being from out here. It happens. You get your head busted over a traffic violation. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. it, is, it is what it is. Mm -hmm. So my my, I just couldn't understand the fear. You know, and so and even in that situation, I was so disgusted. I had to walk away from all the protesters and kind of just be in my own zone to trying to you know get myself recentered you know mm -hmm, what i mean because mm -hmm. i was ready to just confront every man out here right you know exactly. what I mean? but we need so we then, need less animosity here, while so i'm I back here right. while i'm back here trying to get my mind right here comes somebody saying oh such and such talking about um uh alexis and britney about to fight such and such which was a man you know what i'm saying mm -hmm. so so i have to run across the lot to see them in this heated argument with this grown man, he being hostile as hell. That's already wrong. But they were surrounded by men who weren't saying anything. Mm, mm. They're just letting him talk to them crazy. Mm. But right two of the strongest sisters oh, out here who will be old as hell. He didn't even be talking to them like that. He old as hell. You know what I'm saying? So when I first came over, Alexis was like, it's cool. It's cool, we got this. And I know her and Brittany can handle their own. You Any know what day. I'm saying? So Any it is what it is. Day. So I was like, okay, I'm gonna fall back for a second. So I falls back. Again, here comes somebody, you go, yeah, it's escalating. So again, I have to run all the way across the lot and basically walk this nigga off the premises. You know what I'm saying? Because he was still turning up with these women. And I was, I was irate because I'm like, how are you gonna talk to these women in such a way trying to protect your ass you know what i'm saying to where they are the ones out here holding us down like these women have been holding us down from the beginning mm -hmm. and, and without without prompting like we didn't we didn't ask you know i need you to be here for me i need you to do this and that they just stepped into this role naturally seamlessly and perfectly as you know what I'm saying? I mean, I mean, I exactly. mean, they they just did what they do, but at the same time, we gotta pump and prime these men. Come on, y'all, get out here in the front line. Come on, get in front of these women. Come on, do this net. But these women, just they just out here. And they've gotten to the point where they don't even want the men to be like to take bullets for them because they've already feeling appreciated, and that hurts me because those are some of my best. Friends. Right. I mean, I I, per I personally, as a man, I was taught to protect women Damn like, right protect women don't matter what it is you protect them you know exactly. and i got strong ass sisters so they right. they don't they like hey let me be independent which i respect yeah. that right exactly. so like my first instinct is i don't want y'all to be up front you know what i'm saying i want to protect y'all let me protect y'all and That's of course the same word. thing it's like y'all women are like i want to be up here because like you said like i look at you look at him mm -hmm. like hey i see my son that could be my son and so like i try to give like like the brother said like I try to give women the space, but at the same time, I try to be ahead mm -hmm. where I can see danger coming. Mm -hmm. You know, I mean, men, mm -hmm. right. normally men are tall, you know what I'm saying? Like, so I see myself as a protector. I mean, just naturally. Know? Let's just keep yeah. it 100. It's, just it's, like, it's, not, it's not a sexist or a thing to say. Naturally, men are just bigger and stronger than women. Right. Point blank, period. That so, you know what I'm saying? I would that rather put that being typically, the case. I mean, have, I don't see some big bitches. But we, you know. I mean, yeah, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> you're right, you're right, you're right, right, right. On but, average but the, basis. But the exception is not the rule. Right. You know what I'm saying? Just like so, with that being said, we have a responsibility. Like that first night that they tear gas, right? I had two of my sisters out here. And I'm seeing the I'm seeing the tear gas. Everything's in slow motion to me. Yeah. And I'm seeing them run in front of me. And I'm like, okay, I know I can run faster than them. So let me run behind them and make sure that they are cool. If no, I don't want nobody to fall or anything. And that's the same with whoever was around me. Mm -hmm. But it's like that's the kind of idea that I have out at the protest when it's dangerous stuff. It's like mm -hmm. I wanna be 
And it's not right. that we you know, think I'm that, not that, out here every day, but can't do it. Oh, no, they not saying Because, I mean, look at look at these women. Look at them. You know what I'm saying? Look at them. Obviously, they can hold their own. Right. But that's not the point. We were sitting together. Exactly. They shouldn't have to hold their own. We shouldn't have to. Damn, a real woman can do it by herself, but a real man won't. Won't let her. You will not let me do it by myself. Won't let you do it. Just won't let you do it. I love it. So I got y'all three Twitters because it's like, please get Twitters, get Twitters, get Twitters. That's what's going on. And they like, we love this. This is epic. We love this. We're putting them in the loop. Red Hampton. Oh, you Red Hampton? D R E D or D R E A D? D R E A D H A M P T O N. D R E A D H A M P T O N. I mean, Red Hampton is in the police dread my ass because I'm focused. They dread to see you coming. That was a good cut. For sure. And and you on Twitter? Uh, Dell D E L L M A J seven T H. Dell Major seven. Okay, so one more time. D E L L M A J seven T H. Okay. Got okay. Cool. It'll, it, it'll be recorded, so even if they can't catch it right now, they'll go back and get it. All right. Thank y'all. Hey, I definitely crazy. appreciate the conversation tonight. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Go, 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 go. Go. Everybody that said they closing arguments, we didn't all say bye. It's beautiful. Oh, I want it. Go ahead. Never mind. No, 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 no. No. We want to hear from the women. It was a question about women being empowered. Don't feel like we don't want to hear from you. I'm be camera shy. I'm ready to the camera Oh, no, I'm good. All right. I mean, I have my thoughts together. But you know what I'm saying? Leave me alone. I mean, the light is rather bright. You know what I'm saying? I do. Okay, hold on. I might be able to do something about that huh? you better does that work can you still yeah there's a light right here you hella a hater you hear me you hear me this is too much mind your business so as a woman in the movement as a woman I never even came into the moment like I'm gonna be a black woman representing in the movement I came because I'm a black person. I'm a person. I am a woman. And I'm a human. And I care about this happening on my street. I used to live in Ferguson. I used to walk down that same street, illegally or whatever the hell they want to call it, jaywalking, whatever. And I had no problem. So why in 2014, 10 years later, from when I was walking on them streets, is this boy getting gunned down? You know what I'm saying? So that affects me. The fact that one day I'm a birth some big black beautiful black babies. babies. Right. That affects me because my husband is gonna be a big black, black man. Babies. And I don't want to see my husband, my kids, my nobody laying on the street for four and a half hours like an animal. Right. Um, so that affects me the most. I didn't notice anything about being a woman in the movement. I'm not even, a, I don't classify myself as a feminist. Mm -hmm. I don't even say I'm an activist. I don't say none of that. Because exactly. I'm a citizen. I'm just I just live here. You know right. St. Louis. Well, we I'm always talking about I love my city. So how on earth could I say I love my city and then my city is up in flames and, and I'm, I'm not there? So Looking. I'm using what I have <laughs> to Look get the shit. story out. I only had Twitter. Ten I had like 3,000 followers. I had Instagram with like a thousand followers and Tumblr that I never ever use. I went to Ferguson with what I had, and this is what you can see. Armed with our smartphones. Right. So <laughs> they asking for your Twitter when you finish. It's Meta. Y'all know who that is. Y'all know who that is. It's eight A. Y'all don't know who that is. Eight A A A A A. Oh, we finally got a number on the amount of A's. Eight. There's eight A's. Netta with eight A's. Because when you see me, that's what you say. Netta. So, um, no, but I didn't come out here to be no a classified role in the movement. Okay. I didn't even think this was going to be a movement. I came out here with just hoping that people would be interested that this has happened in St. Louis. And the we can't let America. it be a Trayvon Martin. We can't let it be a Jordan Davis. We can't let it be a Troy Davis. We can't let it be a Ezel Ford. We can't let it be a, a Kajimi Powell. Kajimi right. Powell happened right after. Uh, I, I, I right didn't know I was going to be here today. I did ask if some live streamers could go over to his memorial site. I'm going to still try to work with them to get that done, too, because I it's ain't really beautiful. hear a lot about him. You know, you know what I mean? And, and we can't allow this to be swept under the carpet And anymore. then this black man, he's, he looked behind him. To make so sure that people, that people were in the line of fire and move to let them shoot him.
He moved right. out of the people way of the people. people he looked behind him, saw that eyes. people were in his line of fire, Bruh. moved and smooth. got killed. Like, it, like it was, it, that's, he did that. that. Me up. He sacrificed you know himself. He, he saved other people for himself. He knew that was going to shoot him. He knew they were going to kill him. They didn't, they, they, he knew for a fact they was, they was going to shoot him. So he, he moved out the way so that other people wouldn't be shot. Like Y'all should, y'all should look up his story. Um, are you glad that it's turning into a movement? I mean, it's, I am. I am. I, want I mean, I'm just asking. I want everything. You know, to, I want everyone to be inspired by Ferguson and make your own city something. Like people keep be coming here, be and that's great. And I reactive. love it because we, we need help. But what y'all need to do, like in Ohio, with John right. Crawford, how is Ohio still standing? You know right. what I'm saying? They gave y'all the no indictment. We don't even have that yet. We're waiting. Okay. Right. Y'all got it. <laughs> and Ohio she is still there. Okay. I'm not saying she turn all the way up. Shut your I'm just confused and I'm amazed <laughs> that no one has, Shut you know, down. done anything. Yeah. But just In protest that and change Listen, or whatever. That's what I'm saying. If y'all kill my son, y'all go ahead and protest. Okay. I'm right, fucking shit up. Y'all go ahead. Because I know my mama would have did yeah, that. I'm like, y'all catch son? me burning some shit down. Y'all ain't got to protest. All, that's all I'm saying. Don't protest shit about. for me. I'm burning yeah. everybody. Yeah. I'm not, I, don't, I give no fuck. No son, if you way, kill my baby, it's son. going down. Yeah. Know that. But if you kill him, be ready. Be ready. Real tough. Be ready. I had my son yet, but if you murder him, be ready. Well, shit, I have had mine. Fuck with mine. That's real. You know, no, fuck with mine. You know, you know what I'm talking about? I love y'all, man. Good night. If I don't get to say bye to y'all, I'm still going to be on Twitter anyway. I'm bugging the shit out of you because I'm not here. Y'all all right? What's going on? I'm going to be on the live stream telling A9 and them, go fucking tell them I said hi. I love y'all. All right. Good night, y'all. Bye. That's me. Go away, Howard. I'm about to say what? So, y'all, we're going to go ahead and wait for the lag to catch up. Uh, can somebody please let me know when the, la when the lag catches up so I can shut down the stream without cutting anything off? Um, as we sit here and watch this young black man cleaning up the parking lot once again, not destroying the city. And um, I will, you know, catch up with y'all on other social, social media networks um, because I'm completely addicted to this shit. So, love y'all. <laughs> Black man, my ass, he's 47. Well, shit, I can't see that far because I ain't that goddamn <laughs> young neither. <laughs> no, he's about 23 though. Okay, I'm like, I can't, yeah. I ain't that damn Tony. young no more neither. I can't see that way. Well. <laughs> nah, shit, that's far. I just thought of that. I was like, wait, he's not young. Tony, look like him. He looks pretty young. How are you doing, honey? My feet hurt. I'm like, oh, my legs. Are you, you a car here? What's for my dad? You want me to just drop I'm you off?